All right. Scoot over, Johnny. Yeah, not, you know. Welcome. What do you get? You know what? what? No, just you shaved scooting. the head. You told me the other day you wanted to grow your hair out. What's that about? Yeah, I lied. You I'm are done. you are a deceitful <laughs> I'm man. Done, dude. You're I done. Just, yeah, I got your ass. <laughs> got you, dude. You're fucking dude, stupid. What a bro. prank. I dude, there's like this Mexican guy who comes in the bar every like three weeks, and he's just like, dude, you look like shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, you're fat and bald. And I'm like, really? Oh, man. It like really affects me, and I'm just like, all right. I'm is he it. like? Does he look good, or does he look like? No, shit too? no, no. He's 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 a scary man. He's got like a facial scar. He's got like a colostomy bag. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> no, he's no. Like, the scariest like guy I've ever seen my entire life. <laughs> no, he's a very scary guy. But yeah, no, he just. I was like, fuck it. I just got to do it. It looks yeah. good. Thank you. Yeah, you do look yeah. good. You look. You got to yeah. leave like a little hair. You always like, yeah, well, I like I that do, you left a little. That's I, what I said. I shear it, and then like in two weeks, it looks great. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it all bald. You look like Bronson. Okay. Well, I like the that's five the o'clock. nicest thing anyone's ever seen. Well, the five o'clock shadow on the face know. that matches the head. Yeah. I think he looks like a testicle. When he <laughs> I look like an absolute fu- fucking earthworm right yeah. now. Yeah. With like a thumb with a mustache. <laughs> and you do the mustache thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's I look, silly, but yeah. it's good. Everyone thinks I look racist, but you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you look yeah. like the accountant for Nazis or something. <laughs> <laughs> the CPA. Yeah. So no more problems at the bar, right? Everything's like smooth. You got the security. You're not getting yeah, attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's no. trying to kill you. No, like, there hasn't honestly hasn't been anything crazy in like months. Because you guys have these yeah. big black dudes to protect you now. Yeah, they're so fucking big. That dude's black. huge. That, yeah, I know. Prince? I don't know his name. Yeah, Dude, but he's yeah. John refers to everyone on a first name basis. Like everyone knows who all of his friends. Well, I don't know. Are. If also, every black guy is just Prince. <laughs> They're all named Prince. That yeah. guy's Prince. That the guy's also guy. Prince. There's a third uh, Prince over there. <laughs> yeah, That's Michael Jackson. He's, uh, he's uh, he was in that fucking Lakers series. He was in Showtime or yeah, winning, he, winning he time. Was, he was doing like background NBA stuff. Uh, yeah, he was like. Well, a, he's the voice of one of the Boondocks. Characters. No, that's the other one. Oh, he was my the bad. Booty Warrior, mm. okay. Booty Hunter. Mm. That guy Boondocks. kicks ass. Yeah, he's the man. He's that like the nicest cool guy fuck. of all time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, John will tell you stuff. He'll be like, "Yeah, MC8 is our new bouncer." It's crazy. <laughs> wow. I guess every black guy in Hollywood, the strike started, and they're all like bouncers now. Because like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, you know, yeah. I've, I've been kicked out of many a bar because these bouncers they don't know how to handle themselves now. They don't, they shouldn't be working at these places. And the pandemic, they they hired a bunch of fucking <laughs> bunch of guys that have no clue how to bounce. Yeah, they We're, bounce me. We need the strike. <laughs> huh? They're like, I've seen Roadhouse. I know how to do this. Mm. <laughs> we had a lot of, I had a lot of problems at uh, Red Lion. Red Lion just hired like a bunch of dudes from, the like, like guys eating like crawfish out of their pockets. <laughs> We've been to <laughs> 86. <laughs> wow. We've been to 86 in the Red Lion like five times. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been kicked Easy. out of the Red Lion, I think seven times. Holy shit. And I always come back. I've been kicked out once that I can remember. That was the funniest kick out I've ever remembered. <laughs> can I tell from my point of view? Sure. The, Joey, me and Jordan show up at the Red Lion and we get one beer and immediately the bartender cuts us off because you guys are sitting. Well, Devin's there, being really loud. Devin's being really but you know, no. it's fucking no, I remember this. You were being crazy. <laughs> no, I was being you quite were, You both sad. were being insane. I think but, it was my birthday. No, no, my friend just died, so I was all quiet and sad. Oh. It wasn't an outrageous amount of noise. It was the downstairs bar, but it wasn't an insane amount of noise. And me and Jordan show up there. We get a pitcher, and then the guy the guy immediately cuts us off. He's like, you guys are cut. We're like, this is our first drink. What the fuck are you Because it was about? quiet downstairs, and we were yeah. being loud. But we are like, well, but- fuck this guy. We're going to finish drinking. Joey, unbelievable. Go, you. Jug, go ahead. And there was a... Guy at the bar who looked like a vampire hunter, and we kept making fun of him for being a vampire hunter out loud. <laughs> yeah, he had like oh, a big right. vampire hunter hat. Yeah, yeah, and apparently, yeah. that guy was like the bartender's best friend. Yeah, and he was like, "You guys are all out of here, like all this shit." But the funniest part about it is we're all waiting out front, and I remember like you know when you look at a door from the side and you know you just see someone walk out like oh. that. I see Joey walk out. The door swings open. Joey walks out and then turns around and goes, oh, yeah, well, go fuck yourself, cocksucker, to the bartender. <laughs> yeah, Joey starts to insult people like John Wayne after a while. He's yeah. like, you sandbagging son of a bitch, you. <laughs> One time I woke up, and maybe we said this on the pod, but I didn't remember, but I woke up to text from Devin telling me that I call a bartender a cuck until he kicked me out of the bar. That was yeah, uh, That kicks ass. That was like two months ago. No, but that was way longer. <laughs> that was not that long oh, ago. Dude, years Santa Monica? ago. Let's talk about yeah, it. Santa, yeah. Yeah. We were at the great Sonny McLean's uh, in Santa Monica. Place kind of sucks. Go ahead. And, by the way, I've been I've been back and I've talked to that bartender. He's a lovely man. He's nuts that night. He well, Maybe you he was having a bad night. By the way, I'm sure everyone who's ever kicked you guys out is probably a pretty cool, normal guy. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
Okay, so we're at this bar. You were wild all night, by the way. You were like crazy. I got crazier later, dude. You were like, you were like fucking like Bill Hicks in the midst of like his like his alcoholism. Like you were a maniac. She always wearing a duster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing outside with like Mark and and a couple other people, and we're like, "Where the fuck's Joey? What's going on?" We thought we were closing out, and I walk inside and I hear Joey just like, "Yeah, cock, yeah, cock." Fuck you, cock! This is two months ago? This is two months ago. Now this is like <laughs> maybe six. three. Six. Uh, it's not six months it's not ago, six dude. six months ago, bro. That's a long this time. This is not that this long. Maybe three or four months. This is in I'm the summer. Say, no, no, actually, you know what? Four months ago. Four. I'm going to say four. All right, four. four. Okay, I yeah. love how the time frame like, matters, really, but like... Yeah. Recent. So I walk in, and the guy is yelling at Joey, because Joey ate food off of somebody's plate. Hang on, I remember bathroom. this part. <laughs> I do remember this part of it. Is that I was at the bar trying to pay for a long time. I was at the bar trying to pay. I was very hammered, but there was a plate of popcorn chicken that was abandoned. And it was like to the point where nobody would leave food that long at a bar that they're going to come back to. So I'm like, yeah. oh, somebody didn't finish their food and they left. Yeah. So I grabbed a popcorn chicken and I just like ate it like just one while I was waiting. And then the guy saw me, and that's how the whole thing started. And he flipped out. Well, to be to be fair, to uh, you know, kind of like poke a hole in that. There was a, <laughs> there was a the guy left paper. Like he left a thing over no, his he drink. Did not. Like I'm in the bat. Like no, I'm no, no, I'm coming no, back. no, he did not. Yeah, there was. <laughs> that's because when that's I a lie. when I came in, I was trying to defend you, but then I was like. Oh boy. He Joey's like, the Joey's like it looks the guy went to the bathroom. Joey's like, no, he, no, he didn't. Because if there was a paper over there, I would have, I would have roofied him. <laughs> <laughs> and so I walk in, and they're in a scream match. I've, this guy is furious at yeah. Joey. He's yelling at me. He goes, "Get him the fuck out of here!" This is in Santa Monica. This is in Santa Monica. Dude, I mean, their their bar for shenanigans is so low. Yeah, yeah, but it's also yeah, a, it is. on There's that so street. It's high, on that street, that street is higher though. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no. A, it's an Irish sports bar, uh, okay. and it's like a lot of Celtics fans. And it's like yeah. fake Irish people. It's yeah. like all these rich yuppies that want to pretend like they're Southy guys. That yeah, come yeah. that's what that is. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bunch of like it's a bunch of the town wannabes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that's where Whitey Bulger was when he was arrested. That's true. Yeah. Not at that bar. He was hiding at the bar. It's, it's a bunch of guys. He went like, there because he's like, this is the least Irish place in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No one's going to see me. It's no a bunch of guys recognize like, me. Like, like, like with Jeremy Renner's like Notre Dame tattoo on his neck from the town, but it's a henna tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of people That's that go there. But... And, like, so, you're covering it because you stole a parking cone the night before. <laughs> 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 so... I walk in in the midst of this battle, and I'm trying to mediate it. I go, oh, I'm so, I, so, I don't know what he did. Uh, it, uh, like, Joey, let's get out of here. And Joey's, like, screaming at this guy. I've never seen you this angry before, honestly, in my life. You were like, hey, you hated this man. And and then the funniest <laughs> thing, though, because you, you, no matter what, all of us are funny even in our most angry moments. <laughs> That's what's great about this crew. And so... Joey starts. There's like almost nobody there. Joey looks over to like three people sitting at the bar at the end of the bar, and he goes like, he goes, he's a cock, isn't he? And he goes, he goes, cock, cock, cock. <laughs> he's, he's trying to start a cock chant about the bartender, and everyone's like, we quite like him. <laughs> we don't know I what your problem is. Joining in on the chat, I would, I no would one love joined it. In. I would love it though if it just started a slow, slow clap, and everyone's like. <laughs> I was like the guy rapping at the airport where he thought everyone's gonna start singing along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now it's just me yelling cuck. Yeah. It was great. I've never like been kicked out of a bar. You don't get drunk drunk. Like you you no, you drink like crazy, but you I've never seen you be like so drunk where you're like, you know what? Like you all of a sudden these weird opinions yeah, start coming yeah, out. I don't do that. You don't get that way. Also, I'm not funny when I'm mad. Yeah, you're, like I'm, you're mad. I'm really mad. Yeah, there's nothing funny about it. Connor yeah. goes straight to like I'm gonna punch you. Where like we'll go like, hey, I'm gonna make fun of you. Yeah, Connor was like, if I'm if he's mad, he'll just fucking like sock you in the stomach or something. Which Junk I won't dog. do, but that's like what is there. That's right. why. No, I, that's have, why I keep it. I've no. I've heard some stories. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. About me punching somebody. You grabbed <laughs> an old man into hunger. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's the best fucking story. You I tell that fight. story. No, no, no. I you tell that fucking story. Is it too uh, early to get into way, that? Yeah, I don't want to. Oh man, oh, we'll man. get into it that story next week. So many you times. kicked your brother's ass in the driveway. Yeah, but that's my brother. Yeah, that's a like I, that's yeah, yeah not that's, a conversation with legal. a stranger where I'm like you know yeah it's like a hockey. Fight. I don't think you're a bad guy for it. I'm just saying you go to punching. 
You will kill a guy in the yeah. woods. You yeah. will punch your brother. Connor <laughs> killed an old man, but like we'll, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into it next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Me and my friends killed an old man. <laughs> I forgot it was a group activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, that's the best story I ever heard. Um, Wait, come on, let's tell. Oh, it's, no, such no, a good it's too story. early. It's too yeah. early. Yeah. Wait, te- let's tease the people. Yeah, they're gonna lose their minds. That's a great teaser. <laughs> Imagine just saying that's that wonderful. casually and like, anyway. So in the news, <laughs> hey, hey, maybe on uh, on the Patreon, we'll talk about how Connor killed an old Everyone man. Everyone, check out the Patreon yeah, where Connor admits to violent crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Manslaughter, well, uh, at the very least. But, right. yeah. but yeah, so um, no one's. It doesn't matter how drunk we've ever been. No one has ever been as drunk as Gary Busey is sober. What? Drew. Yeah. Gary Busey was involved in a hit and run in Santa Monica. <laughs> I saw this, yeah. In uh, Malibu, actually, and uh, it's 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 one of the greatest things I've ever seen. It's only a minute long, but TMZ caught it. Thank God. And uh, let's check it. I out. I love them. I love them so much. I know. I don't care if like the families are like, we didn't know he was dead e- until you told us, and that's a little hard to f- find out from and you. And they're like, well, you're welcome. And they go, why, why, are you? Yeah, why are you shitting on us, yeah. the Bryant family? I mean, we, we, we found him before you. <laughs> Should be thanking us for finding his bones. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> so, so, Vanessa, we're here to tell you that your husband and whoever the fuck else was on that helicopter died. <laughs> <laughs> that is how the news should have posed it. Like, Kobe and his daughter die with a bunch of nothing. (laughs) (laughs) I'm kidding. I I remember some of their names. Yeah, Sam right now. Uh, the all uh, they were like Altabelli, John sure. Altabelli, John Altabelli, and a bunch. Of, a lot of families were destroyed in that. And um, <laughs> that was the name of our algebra teacher. Jokes in aren't high funny. <laughs> yeah, I might have been making that up. Maybe it's not Altabelli, but I wish he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for um, sure. Anyway, here's Gary Busey. <laughs> Look at him. So he just crashed into this woman on Can the you road. Full screen on the yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. He just crashed into this woman on the road, right? And she's honking at him, trying to get his attention. Like, pull over! You can't just hit people. You hit my car. I need your information. <laughs> he just speeds Sir! up. <laughs> He's in a full though. He's like, I think I'm hearing ghosts again. Someone's wiped out. It doesn't matter. That's Piped not out. how this works. You hit my car. You have scuffs all over your car. Oh no! Progressive insurance. I want. He goes progressive insurance. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> like he's. What is she supposed to do with that information? He's like, shut up. I'll call. I'll call Flo right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, calm down. Flo's on the way. I love how he's also. In, he's like obviously not doing well. Look at his his rearview mirror is bashed. Oh, so off. he's been in multiple accidents. I mean, he the, Gary Busey's just driving around Malibu like playing bumper cars. I do people. love his outfit, though. Oh, he looks, he looks awesome. Hell. He looks you know great. he has brain damage from a motorcycle crash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Changed his whole personality. Mm-hmm. He's been out of his mind for quite some time, but he's looking uh, thin and possibly sick. And yeah, he looks very thin there. So, do you think he's drunk in this? I like the excuses. No, I don't think he's drunk. I don't think he's drunk. I no, think I he's. I think he's. I think he's under the influence of Busey. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think he's Busey. He's abusing the Busey. <laughs> he's abusing the Busey. <laughs> so yeah. Sure. I want the number. I want the information. No. Sir, you he goes, hit no, my car. No. It doesn't matter. You hit me. You hit my car. No, I also wait. If we can look closely, I think he's wearing a hat that just says NFL on it. (laughs) So that's like when you're at the end of your rope, you just start wearing clothes that just say general, like like you know, organizations. You just wear a hat that just says (laughs) (laughs) T-Mobile. I'm just a fan of all the all the football teams. I love the NFL. You wear an AMC hat. I love the AMC theaters. (laughs) I'm, I'm I'm finished. Just a, shirt, a shirt that says car on it. <laughs> I love car. I love car. Vroom, vroom. Break. <laughs> it does everything, car. Yeah. No, you rear-ended me. You can't hit I don't give a shit, me. you stupid bitch. Yeah, what a fucking king. <laughs> Look at the king. smile in his, on his face. I love him. I would, I would love if he was just like, I did what? <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> Just denying it. Yeah. Look at the. He's, what? All, he's driving like a piece of shit no. Volvo, too. Yeah. 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 Look at it. It's all dented. Look at the back. The back is dented. Oh, he's fucked up. He goes, You know what you fear stands for? He's laughing. Evidence Sir. appearing real. Goodbye, you bitch. You should just leave hitting someone. 
<laughs> Look at the front of this <laughs> car. Dude, it's all fucked. <laughs> Gary dude. Busey kicks so much ass. He hits the fucking building. This lady should be honored. Does she not know who you that that is? Obviously, he has no idea. Me. Yeah, he's doing it, bitch. Man. Well, because if she knew who he was, she would just call the cops and go, Gary Busey just <laughs> rear-ended me. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And they go, ma'am, this is you're like the 18th caller today. <laughs> it's like, I have his license plate. They're like, no, we know it's Gary Busey. We know it's Busey. <laughs> no, we arrested him four times this morning. He keeps getting out somehow. <laughs> God bless Gary Busey. What yeah. is he even? What was he famous for? What was speed. the big Busey movie? He won he's an Oscar speed. for. Um, he's not wait, wasn't speed, he in John. Speed? What was he? No, in? that's the, that's, that's, that's Dennis Hopper. Oh, no, was he? Who was he? The partner in a fucking uh, uh, shit. Your point break. Point break. So he won an Oscar for Buddy Holly. That's how like he first got really famous. He won the. He was played Buddy Holly. He played Buddy Holly. Okay, and that was like his. He was like pretty young still. And then, yeah, he just did, like, a series of, like, he did, like, he was, like, the third henchman in Lethal Weapon. Okay. Um, and, yeah, he was in uh, Point Break. He was Keanu's partner. Yeah. And then he did a lot of shit like that. And then he was on Celebrity Apprentice in his later years when they stopped hiring him for shit. <laughs> and then he was on that show, I'm with Busey. I don't remember that. It's what was that? Comedy was? Central show. It's a reality show where, like, a comedian embedded himself with Busey. And dude, that's when the whole world realized, like, oh, he's lost his mind. Yeah. That's that's when he started giving them the um the acronyms. Yeah, I always get him mixed up with Nolte. Me too. Yeah, yeah. They have a similar, similar face. Yeah. yeah, they should join forces. He should get on his back, <clears throat> and they should go around town wreaking <laughs> havoc. <laughs> Nolte would a, hate him there, so much. Yeah. There's a few celebrities I think should join forces. Uh, Carrie Mulligan and Michelle Williams should 100%. just combine. Because yeah. I'm sick of trying to figure out which one was in mo which movie. Mm -hmm. They're the same person. You guys know what I'm talking about? Carrie Mulligan, Michelle Williams. She's the one that was in. Uh, they both Davis, have. They're right? both like short haired, yeah, yeah. blonde, yeah. mousy, blonde, yeah. mousy girls. Yeah. Garrett Hedlund, <clears throat> Charlie Hunnam. Just yes. you're yep. the same guy. Exactly. Get on his shoulders. What are you doing? I don't care which is on the shoulders. Banjo Kazooie, this. You guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are we doing here? As the great Mike Graney says, get in a little rascal's trench coat <laughs> and walk around town. That clip's incredible. Incredible. Check out Mike Graney's video uh, where, where uh, he went to uh, the Danilo Cavalcanti, uh, the guy that escaped prison in uh, in in, uh, Pencil in uh, Philadelphia. He got caught two weeks later and. Uh, Comedian uh, Michael Rainey on Dad Meat, the podcast, he went to the uh, press conference when they when they caught him and somehow got in. And he uh, asked a question. He goes, sir, was there ever a concern that he would ever join forces with another uh, small man, a uh, little rascal style in a trench coat? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy and just the like, cop killed goes, somebody, right? He, he murdered his uh, girlfriend and he escaped from prison. And then the cop just goes, no. And they, just move, <laughs> they move right on. They, no one even like, seemed to understand it was a joke. Incredible video. Check you it out. You can't really laugh at a murder press conference. No, 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 no you can't. Even though they were probably like, that's hilarious. I would. Just fucking poker fish. I would. Yeah. I would have been, been incredible. Hard, yeah. I would have been done. Yeah, they should hold that press conference at the Apollo. <laughs> 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 oh, man. What a time. What a time to be alive. Uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff here, you know, yeah, but really, um, I just I want John to talk more. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just need more from you. Listen, bud, I don't know what You're to tell so you. You're so casual. How's your lawsuit? Yeah, how is the lawsuit going? Uh, and let's let's get it. We have because we have ass. we have a lot of personal Can't talk updates about it. this episode. We have Joey. Joey has some personal updates as well. Oh, is it? We doing the round? My up? lawsuit is fast. Uh, no, I'm going to do my lawsuit. My lawsuit's going well. My lawyer's getting angry at me for talking about it, so I can't talk about it too much. But mm. you'll, get, you'll get updates. He's a big hate watch guy. Your lawyer, He's a huge <laughs> dude. He called me. He called me. He called me and goes, "Do you have a podcast?" And I was like, "What?" Yeah, and he was like, Somebody ratted can you? On us. Yeah, I got ratted on. He was like, he goes, it's not fine on Haywatch, but don't say anything on Lemon Party. Yeah, don't say anything on Eid Hour. <laughs> uh, no, he, uh, uh, do you have it? Do you have oh, it? Oh, airdrop. Yeah, airdrop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, everything's going great. Like, honestly, as far as things can go, it's going very fucking well. Yeah, I'm okay. looking into, like, a very good year next year, which will be fucking It's going to be a going. very good year. I'm honestly, like, just Where thinking. John will shower at the YMCA. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. And all the no, Asian fun, gays you know? will rape his face. No one's going to fuck me there. The I'm safe. 
It's that why we dun, went dun, to. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be a very good year. Are you singing a song? Do you not know what a very good year is? No, Frank Sinatra. Dude, dude your brain has been rotted. <laughs> I don't know if Frank Sinatra's fucking disguise. That's know a deep cut. Song. I, I don't know that's a famous yeah, it's like song. one of his biggest songs. Also. Really? How do you escape it? Yeah, what? what? I never even heard of that You've one. You've never when been to 17? a fucking buffet in Vegas? Or? No, it's, I know the, the kick in the head or whatever. Or, hey, and that, then that's kick life. In that. and I don't even know if that's him. Ain't oh, that that's Dean Martin. Head? You are. Fly me to the moon. Fly me to the are moon. Are you sure you caught yeah. COVID or syphilis? Dude, I'm honestly like it could you be. You have the same brain as Al Capone. <laughs> Dude, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's really fucked up. Dude, it's fucked up. I need an MRI. Like I'm a different man. <laughs> 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 Just casually saying that. I need like I have like brain damage. Dude, I need a fucking it's MRI. Fucked up. Like it's fucked up, dude. Like I've had yeah. people come up to me and like tell me things and like a day later or like like give me things and a day later I don't remember. Really? Yeah, dude. Dude, I like can't remember anything from high school. That's normal. I know, but like everyone else can. Names. I don't I don't remember anything from high school. Yeah, I don't remember names. I used to be really. good. But no, you fuck know, that now shit. I'm just that's like, stupid. Uh, that's the sign of lose. If you're a fucking loser, you remember yeah. from high school. But yeah. also, I grew up in LA, and everyone's like, "Do you remember Vanessa Gonzalez?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's gonna no. be anybody." Yeah, no, I've no <laughs> Vanessa yeah. Gonzalez. Yeah. You might as well say John Smith to me. I'm like, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you went to a big high school though, right? Pretty big. Yeah. How many people in the class? No clue. Like a thousand. One like of the graduating those? class? Yeah. Probably close to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah what what do we people. have at St. Francis? Fucking 300. 300? Yeah. yeah. 300? Yeah. 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 And I still don't remember half their names. Yeah. 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 People come up to me and be, I'm like, who the fuck are you, dude? And they know my name. It's fucked up. Everyone, uh, Everyone that uh, we went to high school with, they're all real estate agents now. They all do commercial real estate. That's or all they, they sell do. Cars. Yeah. Which is Connor and I have said, it's the nursing for That's, men. Yeah, it's the end of the line yeah. for men. <laughs> it's, no, yeah. it's, you know, you just, you put on a suit, you yeah. go to Brooks Brothers, you put on a suit, and you can be retarded, and you just walk around, and you go, yeah, that's the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Everything Dang. else has failed, and so I'm doing this. Yeah, all you have to do is memorize how many bathrooms are in the home. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a perfect job for, like, a near retard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's two bathrooms. I mean, 2.5, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you stupid! <laughs> okay, so, uh, Joey, why don't you explain, uh, okay, for the hate watch, uh, the lawyer, the loyal uh, hate watchers on our Patreon, they know about this uh, this uh, long long time story where Joey broke a TV at his home theater at his apartment complex sixteen um, months ago. Now sixteen, wow, yeah, wow, how yeah. time flies. I know, wow, incredible. And so um, we were there. We were watching a, like a, a playoff game or something, and Joey was hammered, and he kept going out to the lobby. And there's a, there's like a whole there's a theater you could like just use at his apartment complex right mm -hmm. and there's these giant golden great dane statues <laughs> outside of the theater and we were joey was hammered and joey kept going outside and grabbing these great danes and walking in and going look at this pup i was what like, a beautiful pup it, it doesn't even make sense as a goof i was so fucked up. i was like blackout drunk yeah you basically. don't remember do you remember any of it because you woke up the next day you had no memory of breaking a tv you broke like an 80, 80 inch. Maybe TV. now because I've seen the video, I re maybe I'm like piecing it together. Yeah. And I remember like going and starting to fuck with the Great Dane statues at the beginning, but I don't, I don't know if I just remember. Did you initially from watch the video and see like you break the TV and you're like, who is that? <laughs> A real memento. It wasn't quite that bad, but I remember. I might have heard about it from my apartment first, and then messaged Devin and been like, well, "Did we fuck up a yeah. TV?" And I go, "Yeah, I have like a, I have like five minutes of footage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have it all on tape, buddy. It's on the Patreon. Uh, so th this has been a running thing. We used to talk about it on the Patreon, and then you know, so Joey would get hit up, and they'd be like, "You have to pay," and Joey would be like, "I don't know who that guy is." Even, and Joey's on camera, like, it's me, Joseph R. LaFleur. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> breaking a TV. No, no. You'll never catch me, coppers. <laughs> <laughs> he sprays the camera with a Tommy gun. <laughs> So, so, no, wait, hang on. The first thing that happened was the original um, management company of the apartment building. They said, they called me and they were just like, we have you on video. You broke the TV in, in the movie theater room. And so, you know, not a big deal, but just pay us back and pay for the movie um, or for the TV and we're square. And then I was like, I don't even know about that. I don't know. And then I called Devin. I'm like, did we break a TV? And he was like, yeah, you broke it. And then so I was. <laughs> so and then you're like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> They're against me. <laughs> We're like, did, 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 we, did, did we break a TV? Devin's like, who's we? What's yeah, this we? we? No, I kept saying we, by the way, every time okay. after yeah. that. He's like, no, you. You let me in like we're on tour. 
Like, like, <laughs> we're going around the country breaking apartment complexes, TVs yeah. with gold Great Dane statues. Devin, did we break up with my girlfriend last night? <laughs> <laughs> But then, uh, so I, on the phone, I was like, I called them back because I was a little bit scared of getting evicted or something or right. criminal charges or whatever. So I was like, I called them back. I'm like, my bad. It was us. I didn't admit to doing it, but I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you. Not a big deal. Yeah. And I had way more money at the time. My job at that point, I was making like a crazy amount of money. So I was like, okay, I'll just pay it. And then I, they they're like, okay, please confirm it in email that you broke it so that we have proof forever. And then I just never confirmed. You nice. Go, you go, yes. you think this is the, my first time being told to confirm <laughs> a crime? <laughs> my first time breaking property? Yeah. Are you dumb? What are you, dumb? Yeah. Are you kidding me? But then, I burned down my last apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea how many parking cones and stop signs I have in my apartment right now? <laughs> you were just to, 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 uh, to give the listeners a little more... Uh, insight into Joey's uh, drunken antics. There was a period of time where Joey would kept stealing construction uh, oh, I, like cones. I and, couldn't stop for years. Yeah, it's yeah. Fun. it's a fun. I don't know. Thing. It's like yeah. a, uh, like a brain that's blacked out. Just instantly, it's like oh, there's a shiny thing. Yeah, yeah. There's like a big bright thing. Mm -hmm. Let me grab it. I'd be watching a movie of Joey's and I'd look over. There's a giant merge sign just <laughs> standing there. And I'm like, <laughs> what did you get last night? But so then anyways, they billed me uh, for the TV, but they also included the surround sound system that they replaced. That's bullshit. And it ended up being like uh, 3500 bucks. Yeah. And then I was like, well, fuck that. I thought it was going to be like 1000 bucks, 1500 bucks. I'm not paying that. And then so I'm like, hey, are you guys sure I broke it? Blah, blah, blah. Because <laughs> we, we for a while thought they didn't have footage. We just didn't know. We thought Did they we show only you the footage. I no. thought I thought no, no, fuck no, no, no. them. Well, but they yeah. they said stuff like, "Hey, also you guys were vaping in there. Like we have you on video." Oh, well, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. right. So I right. thought I what think that? that they may have had footage at some point. But then part of my philosophy on this whole thing was, let's wait it out. The longer we wait, the more likely that footage is to be deleted or replaced. Yeah. Or like, you know, no one's hosting videos on a server for an apartment uh, complex over like certain amount of time because right. it's expensive. Very smart. Yeah. So then the management company changed. A, a commercial real estate company moved in and replaced not a single employee from the time the TV was broken was there. And we thought you were in the clear. We were like, hell yeah, dude. Exactly. We, we waited it out yeah. long enough. They got new management. They don't have the footage of us sucking each other off in the theater anymore. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, we're good. The human centipede stuff is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but then, so, but then finally the new management company came in and they were like, they served me an eviction notice because they saw this 3500 bucks and they thought that was past due rent. So then I came into the office and I'm like, guys, you've, you're like falsely evicting me. This is, I'll sue you back. Like, you got to get rid of this right now. Yeah. And then I'm like, this isn't rent. And they're like, well, you have to prove that it's not rent. And they're commercial real estate, so they don't understand residential real you estate. You have to prove it. Exactly. Insane. So I'm like, the burden of proof is on you. Yeah. And like, mm -hmm. I'll see you in court. That's like yeah. the kind of shit I'm saying to them. And then so I keep stalling it out. And I'm like, well, these guys definitely don't have the footage. Why would the old company send them the footage? They don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. And also, good luck contacting them to help you with this. They're done with this place. So, <laughs> so then we're done with that place. So, but then so like uh, you know they, they they keep they keep putting pressure on me. They keep putting pressure on me, and then <clears throat> management changes again. Oh God, yeah, three times the yeah. management changed. Yeah, Unbelievable. three different management. This apartment companies. complex is really it's like it's 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 <clears throat> fake nice. Well, like it's, 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 it's yeah. too big. It's, it's corporate and yeah, fucking it's, huge. It's, it's like a huge. fucking town, dude. It's a city block. It's a city block. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 a massive a massive amount of real the, estate. In my building, there are two bars. Uh Char City and that wine a game one. Massage yeah. studio. A, a game massage studio. A game studio. massage studio, yeah. There's a coffee shop. There mm. is a barbecue pit. It's just like a, it's almost its own city. And there were there was there was a <laughs> prostitution <laughs> ring being run out of your building. Yeah, there's hookers. I was I was in the elevator a couple times and there were women with like asses like that were like insanely like fake and huge and they mm. had huge tits and there was like a weird little like tiny like day laborer next to them. Like you'll you'll better like a fucking better next time. Like, <laughs> like it was it was That was the pimp? He, he, he was a little tiny pimp. <laughs> He was he was like a, the pimp from the cupboard. He lived between their tits. Yeah, yeah. I would see him too, and he would like give them a Coca Cola if they were being good. It yeah, was yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he that, did. That means a lot to yeah. them, dude. Exactly. He's He's like, like, You'll get a Mexican Coke if you go do a better <laughs> yeah, next yeah. time. 
No, it's like the complex. It's it's like uh, Deadwood. If it if Deadwood were soulless and corporate and had minorities. Um, so it's nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like its own community. No, there, it's it, a city. Uh, there are hookers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there. It's its own city. It's yeah. Gotham. You live in Gotham. Sure. But so then, uh, third management company takes over, and they almost serve me an eviction as well. And then I come back. I go to the office. And I go, guys, listen. This just happened with the last place. It's for TV. It's not past due rent. Almost had to sue the last guys. Like this. Let's get this figured out once and for all. And then I sent this huge email that I think we read on an old podcast. Yes. And then, so they just didn't respond to that for a long time. And then today, they messaged me and they said, hi, just reviewed the email. We have credited your account with $3,500. So you won. I won. 16 months went by and you won. And uh, which is crazy because you're completely guilty. We have the video right now. You totally did it. I can't admit to anything legally, but it looks, I look bad if somebody watches. So this is. (laughs) <laughs> who is that? Yeah, look, the guy, the guy who is that? That, is a, that has a different haircut you than you. Look bad. I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> who is this <laughs> maniac in this footage? So this is Joey's third time bringing this golden Great Dane into the room. He was obsessed with this dog, and he kept bringing it in going, what a good pup. I love this pup. What a great pup. <laughs> And then finally, he just smashes it against the TV. Dude, you're turning into Gary Busey. It's beautiful to watch. I love it. I become Busey when I'm hammered. Yeah. What is? The, why are you bringing him in again? Oh my God. This is the second. Oh, you so already good. brought him in. Yeah, Thing weighs 600 pounds, by the way. <laughs> Solid gold. You're gonna break the fucking oh. dog. Here we go. Jesus Christ! You're <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. Oh my God! Joey, you literally just broke the TV. Oh Joey. You just broke the TV. Has a massive dent in it. A dent. <laughs> I love how you lie down. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm getting all comfortable. That's a big statue. Why, uh, TVs are precious. What do you like? They're fragile. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I like how you blame the TV. You go, it's a fucking weak TV. <laughs> now I'm acting like they should be built with armor. You so. go, you go like, uh, you go. I'm holding the giant Great Dane here. You don't think it's gonna break a TV? He goes, TVs are fragile, dipshit. Uh, the way you lie down I'm the is so funny. Retard in the world. <laughs> you lie down like you had a hard day's work. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty tuckered out. That thing was heavy, so. <laughs> you are. You're so confident. You're so. It's insane. You I always have a response. You always mm. have a response. It's unbelievable. I go, Joe. You just broke the TV. He goes, fuck. TVs are fragile things. <laughs> you idiot! You idiot! He's like, you shouldn't have put that great Dan in my arms. <laughs> <laughs> but so, anyways, I got away with it. You got away with it. And I we were we didn't show that for the last sixteen months publicly because we we were you know we were trying to help. We, it was on Patreon. It was on yeah, Patreon, yeah, yeah. but we know they're not, what are your apartment complex going to. I think I Patreon? posted it on Instagram. <laughs> hey, by the way, if you want to join Patreon, you can probably get me for a lot of crimes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah. So if there's you're a at, few I haven't been able to release. Mm-hmm. They're on my computer. I watch them every day. I go, still can't believe Joey did that. <laughs> oh, man. We should release those. Yeah, why not? Because uh, it's a, like it would literally get, I think our, get our channel taken down. It's a federal crime. You oh, call, on Patreon. You on call, Patreon. Well, I still th- I think pay- with Patreon's our only money. And, I wouldn't uh, risk it. I wouldn't <laughs> risk it. Oh, and the one call. Why don't we explain State it? Joey thing. called in a bomb threat to a law office. Yeah. Not that's only just a law happened. office, like the most important the law. The most important law office. It was like, yeah. The guy who got, was it, Durst off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't, don't give him any more info. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Because these people will well, start who, calling. Yeah, what are they They'll do? start calling. We're no, safe. let them. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, let them call, really? Oh, yeah, now you're inciting, fuck. like, terroristic threats. Yeah. Do you yeah. not enjoy those Venmos every month? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to get taken off? Taken off. I mean, just the arrogance to be like, yeah, good luck, the biggest law firm finding a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it was so big they had a call center. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, it's a big yeah. national. Joey got really angry at this like fat like secretary. We don't, we don't know fat. what she looked like. She sounded fat to me. She sounded fat. She's yeah. in Texas. They're She's fat like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Joey Lafleur. Oh, hi, Joey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, go to the Patreon. A lot of wild uh, stuff there, folks. 
Patreon.com slash hate watch podcast. I don't know. Do you guys care like anymore about the Ashton Kutcher? The because the, you know, yeah. there's a lot. I know you don't because you have like you, I don't know what's going on in your life, John. Like you don't care about anything. No, I love Masterson. Culture anymore. What are you talking about? You're a big Masterson. I'm guy. a huge Masterson. Well, we all guy. are. This is a pro Masterson pod. <laughs> um, Favorite actor. Yeah, it's Connor's, fa- Connor's favorite actor, Masterson, uh, Brian Laundry, Coburger, Masterson, Laundry, our favorite guys. Oh, yeah. favorite guys. They're 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 you know they've they've had uh, everything against them from the beginning, mm-hmm. and they've they've uh, you know we're the only people that are still on their side, but that's yeah. because like you know we're freedom fighters. Yeah. And, we're not uh, cheap. We're not a bunch of fucking chills. We don't go with the flow. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we're not. We're, call me Hillary Swank because <laughs> I'm a freedom <laughs> freedom rider. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great movie where Hillary. You get out of here, Connor. You <laughs> fucked up the name of a movie in 2007. Uh, Connor goes back to New York. You guys remember that movie, Freedom Riders, where Hil- Hillary Swank is uh, is the is uh, the minority children? Pl- yeah, yeah, she's teaching. Yeah. It's like her, like uh, what is that movie with Edward James Olmos? She's like, how do the I get kids, to the kids? kids. Yeah, kids. The substitute? No, no, no. I don't know the name of the movie, I don't know but I know it. it. Stand and deliver. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Hillary Swank, Stand and deliver, and she's, you know, the kids keep like like paralyzing her and, and throwing her on like a stool, and and she dies suplexing her, and suplexing oh, her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like spit roasting they her. Spit roast her and, and Edward stuff. James almost comes in. Yeah. It's, it's it's a Hillary Swank, like she's in front of the class. She's like, guys, come on. I said a hip, hop, mm-hmm. a hip, a hippie to the George Washington was the first president. And the what you see is not a desk. Man, like, that movie <laughs> that movie rocked my world when I first saw it as a kid. I was like, holy shit, so powerful. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was female Coach Carter. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Yeah, but yeah. then there's just scenes where she printed out like Tupac lyrics mm-hmm. and they like read it as like poetry. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the kids start rapping it because they know it already. They already know it because like she doesn't understand. And she's like, "Wow, oh my god, like, wow, they can read." <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I'm starting to think that Ashton Kutcher killed a woman. What? Yeah, that's a. Bad I don't guy. think you like come up with you an organization. Like I don't that. trust Ashton Kutcher. I never have. I, there's something weird about him. But Connor, yeah. I don't mean to like rehash last week. He was in the ranch. And My bad. <laughs> okay, and the ranch was white, like I said last week, just getting started. And, you know, I can't have Masterson be a rapist and Kutcher be a murderer. It's too much in one week. That 70s show. I mean, it's crazy. How much can a man take? What if they, because the 70s were so wild, what if they thought they were just, like, being, like, people from the 70s? They were by, in character. By yeah, raping yeah, yeah. and killing. Yeah. yeah. He's like Robin Blasky yeah, or they're Method just Woodstock. They're Method. They're <laughs> Method. They studied under Uta Hagen and... <laughs> Uta Hagen. You know, uh, but this is kind of interesting. This lady, this like, you know, there's these like psychos on TikTok that, you know, they're, they're supposed to have like a family by now, but all they do is like, they oh, do God. these things and, and they talk about these things and it's like, you know, it's, it's good for us, but your eggs are drying up sugar. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> the clock is ticking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird. Ashton Kutcher was at. His fingerprints were on the doorknob of a woman that was stabbed to death. Wait, what? what? Yeah, you, you guys know, that? know that? No. I, I've heard. I've seen this TikTok. I would love to yeah, see dude. this. Uh, yeah, this sounds amazing. Play that shit. Can you go full screen? Kutcher and Mila Kunis wrote a support letter to the judge in Danny Masterson's trial. I didn't report on this yesterday because I'm not going to lie, it was hard to swallow. I've always loved these two, and I've always respected Ashton Kutcher for the fact that he's done a lot for trafficking victims. If you haven't already seen the letters, this one is Mila Kunis's letter. You can pause to read, and this is Ashton Kutcher's letter. Well, one of the victims named Chris. Bixler, who dated Danny Masterson. Liar! <laughs> you lie! <laughs> you get his name out of your mouth! You get his fucking name out of your mouth, you whore! Look at that saint! He's a saint! Look at him! Those kind eyes! Another one! They keep taking down great white men! Laundry! Koberger! Now Masterson! I fucking had it with this country! The buck stops here. What do you want? <laughs> All right, I turn on HBO. We don't stand a chance anymore. Now we're rapists. <laughs> buck stops. All these out of work actors that can't get a fucking job on Insecure. <laughs> you say they're rapists on top of it. I mean, it isn't enough enough. Right, folks? Everyone listening agrees. 
And from 1995 yes, to yes. 2002, <laughs> just posted to her Instagram stories after finding out about these letters. Before I get into what she posted, if you're unfamiliar with the trial, Danny Masterson received two guilty verdicts out of three. She was the one that the jury did not find him guilty for. She accused him of graping her while she was sleeping, but be Great, by the way, they can't say rape because it's can't TikTok. You have to say uh, graping yeah, yeah, or grape, yeah, yeah. which uh. is like now you're making a mockery of rape. Yeah, yeah. that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You don't say grape. You you say what happened? It's, I got it's, it's a brutal thing that happened. If I got raped and somebody's like, "Oh, did you get grape?" Oh, you grape? <laughs> I'm like, no, this isn't a wise kids you know sketch, asshole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's kind of hilarious how yeah. like we we go in a full circle by trying to be um, nice and trying to do the right thing. Yes. All of a sudden, you start referring to rape as grape. It's That's silly. Well, it's the fucking AIs and shit. I you know, know I mean? but it's, the, it's silly. I think AI is actually like a sick freak. I think <laughs> <laughs> I think AI like likes that we have to like avoid all these things. It's we kinky. Have to, we have to make up wacky words for murder. We're like he was murdered. <laughs> AI's in gooning. his sleep, <laughs> and then his wife was graped. We go, ooh, was it a white grape or a purple grape? He's like, let me just make a mockery of all the, these weird beings. Let me just make a mockery of their worst tragedies. Yeah, oh. a AI is uh, has been sent here to destroy the world. Skynet. It's like Eminem in the early two thousands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Masterson and his innocence and Ashton Kutcher, who is a definite, like, killer. You can on full screen this, by the way. I thought I was going to have to, like, read yeah. or something. Ashton Kutcher's a killer. And I'm going to say it. We're going to, like, it's official, actually. We haven't even got to the point where they talk about Ashton yet, but I'm just going to say it right now. Ashton Kutcher is a murderer, folks. He uh, is a Jack the Ripper. <laughs> He used to, he he wore Von Dutch hats and he did punked yeah because he liked watching other people commit crimes. There's a weird thing about oh. that. he liked yeah. to, it's a voyeur. It's yeah. a is a voyeur. He's stopping crimes and now he's pretending to stop crimes, yeah. which is yeah. what you always get in front the of guiltiest it. Guiltiest man, yeah. of the all time. guiltiest man of all time. Anyone yeah. doing good in this world is evil. Yeah. He's like Hannibal Lecter, where he's now helping yeah. solve the yeah. crimes yeah. Exactly. that he once committed. Exactly. I mean, it's like Gandhi, right? Yeah. Gandhi, great guy, grapist, grape, grapist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Gandhi was a grapist. And a gracist. And a gracist. <laughs> and a gracist. <laughs> and he was, uh, wasn't he, was he, how did he die? He got stabbed? No. Did Gandhi? Did Didn't he Gandhi die? get stabbed to death by, a, by, did he kill by somebody? He got stabbed by one of his, his, his victims. Uh, In my head, Gandhi dads. just shriveled up and died. <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah. turned to dust and then floated away. You're That's right. how he died. In Mexico my head. actually just released evidence of Gandhi. <laughs> 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 because they were together, the jury did not find him guilty. She posted this to Instagram saying, Dear Ashton, I know the secrets your role model keeps for you. Do you forget I was Ooh. there? You were on speakerphone that night you called Danny on February 21st, 2001. I heard everything. I heard the plan. In my opinion, you're just as sick as your mentor. You must have put that date on purpose because if you look up Ashton Kutcher, February of 2001, you might remember this story. The chilling details of the murder of Ashley Ellerin and the Hollywood Ripper trial. In February 2001, Ooh. Ashton Kutcher yeah. arrived to pick Ellerin up for a date, but she didn't answer the door because she had already been stabbed to death by accused serial killer Michael Gargiulo. The next day when he... She's she's dead. She's lying on the floor. He comes in, like, trying to high-five her like it's punked. <laughs> <laughs> face! Face! You just got faced! <laughs> Did your mom share everyone? Everyone you love is here! Flips her coffin over at the funeral. Like, you just got fucking punked. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her wiggle around. She's lifeless. Look at her wiggle around. She's fucking lifeless. <laughs> He's just dying. Oh, man. We are really bad people. <laughs> Dax Jordan's just teabagging in the coffin. <laughs> Learned Ellerin had been murdered. He reached Dex out to Jordan, police. He said, Dex, Dex Shepard. Connor, Dex Shepard. I knew Once again, you meant Come though. on, dude. Beat it. Get out of here. Hey, you came man, back. Was... You had one good episode. You're out. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Anyway, let's watch a, a, a Parna non Charla break down the. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
<laughs> no one gets that reference. <laughs> oh, I did. Because he put his well, hand get, on the besides while trying to open the front door. My fingerprints are on this door and I was freaking out. I told an officer, let me tell you what happened. As for Mila, Chrissy writes, dear Mila, I pray you begin to process what you experienced as a child on that set. Your older interviews are very telling. So yeah, you, so I don't know if you guys saw also on top of Ashton murdering that woman um, <laughs> 15 years later, now uh, with the Masterson case, he came out with Mila and they both they both wrote you know they both wrote letters yeah. we talked about this last week they both wrote yeah. letters trying to get get Masterson off and then those letters became public and so then the next day Masterson and Mila had to like had to make apology videos Ashton Ashton Ashton, Ashton. get out of um, here I said I say Masterson yeah why don't you, you get out of here fun dude why don't you get out why would you do that oh my bye bye John take the sticks oh, uh. fuck. take the sticks. <laughs> Uh, well, Masterson should have fucking been free enough to do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Uh, so they had to, they like had to apologize for writing letters trying to get Masterson off. Hilarious. And they're, they're not wanting The craziest for that. part of that, because I saw that last ep, but I didn't realize what actually happened. I thought maybe they were out of the loop and they didn't know uh, what Masterson was being accused of or what the evidence was. But the letter actually, like, their letter said, like, hey, we know what he's been accused of. Like, they go, even if he's guilty, I don't find him to be a threat right now. And right. he's got a daughter. Well, their whole point yeah. was they're like, he's not, he doesn't do drugs. Right. Never, they're, like, they're like, who amongst us hasn't raped a couple people? I mean, <laughs> that's Hollywood, baby. Ashton's like, I mean, I killed a lady in 06. I mean, who are we to judge? <laughs> He was like, I killed some lady, and then we blamed it on, like, a Kill Tony contestant. <laughs> <laughs> I threw her off the balcony, and I, I listen, I said it was Tony Inchcliffe. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's. I encourage everyone to watch them and decide for yourself what you hear and see. Do so before they get scrubbed from the internet. I also know what happened in Toronto and after. Question, if that's what you view as a normal relationship with a big brother figure, then I feel very mm. sad for you and I hope you consider getting into therapy. You all must forget I was there the whole time those first five years of that 70s show. I remember everything. She then reposted this tweet where it says, Ashton and Danny always treated Topher badly. Topher has never liked Danny. I learned this while doing my early reporting on the then allegations, now conviction against Danny. She added to that by saying, Topher was bullied by Danny Masterson and isolated by- By the way, apparently, <laughs> apparently the cast of that 70s show was like a clockwork orange. Yeah. <laughs> like they were breaking into homes, like hanging out, breaking windows on the Street, like walking into rooms and just grabbing housewives and just torturing canes. people, caning people. <laughs> just go up to an old lady and be like, I'm going to shove my foot up your ass. <laughs> what if we found out that Masterson had been raping Red from that show this entire time? How do you like a foot up your ass, Red? <laughs> and he never admitted it to yeah. it because he's like, you know, too he's, proud like, he's too man. proud. He's a yeah. proud old man. Yeah. Red and the mom, they both wrote letters too. Did they really? So the, literally the whole cast besides Topher is like rape apologists. Yeah. And, like us. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Not you. Yeah. But the rest of us here, we no. all. Hey, yeah. I just love his work. You love Masterson's acting. Yes. You think he's one of the finest actors of our time. We got that 70s show, The Ranch. Yes, man. I mean, this guy's this guy's resume. I mean, dude, it's, <laughs> it's, I mean it's name hard. a better actor. It's hard to deny. Yeah. What is Yes? He was in Yes Man? Yeah. What are you, what are you playing Yes Man? He's the like rapist? one of his best friends. He played a rapist in Face Off. <laughs> He's Matt Danny Masters is not in face. He's in, off. He, he put, tries to rape John Travolta's daughter, and John Travolta beats his ass in his driveway. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. <clears throat> wow. It's a cameo. Yeah. It's not it's a cameo. cameo. But he like plays actual, a rapist. He's like, not, he's like trying to rape his daughter. But when did in Face Off come out? Like the nineties. Yeah, that's. I would, I would guess ninety nine. Like, okay, when a guy's not famous, you can't claim it's a it's a cameo. Well, it's like lines and shit. Yeah. yeah, but a cameo means like no, the guy is when you're already oh, famous. Oh yeah, cameo. You're already yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small, a he had a small role. Small yeah. role. Small. Oh, he was also in that uh, the sequel to Yes Man. It means uh, it's a uh, no means yes man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can stay. I'll stay. Here's how Masterson used uh, the curse, by the way. He goes, hey, can I have sex with you? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, e yes. <laughs> that whole movie is just Jim Carrey getting fucked by Masterson. <laughs> he just keeps exploiting the curse. Goes, can I fuck hey, you? Jim, can I fuck you again? Can, uh, we do, yes. can we do anal tonight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Oh, man. All right. Most of the cast because Danny's like a cult leader. Danny hated Topher because... Love Topher. it. What? Here's the thing. We like... Uh, cult leaders kick ass. And if you get yeah. sucked into a cult, you're a huge reader. You deserve it. You deserve it. I don't care about any of these stories of these people that go like, hey, you're a moron. You like, know what you're doing. You're going to get to make like a two-hour documentary on HBO about how you're a retard now. Have some yeah. accountability. You fucking- That's why Waco kind of kicks ass. In that doc, a lot of the guys come back and they're like, we miss Koresh. It was a great cult. Yeah, they, they're right yeah. or yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're all like, very smart like, people. Oh, yeah. They're it's like true. biblical <laughs> scholars and <laughs> shit. No, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they, were, yeah, they, were, they, were they were actually people. smart people? Yeah. They're really? like geniuses falling correct. Yeah, they yeah. liked... I mean, clearly not. Though. No, not smart. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean. No, but like, you know, let, let them be. Yeah. yeah. Why did we interrupt that so bad? Let's get on to Koresh for a second. <laughs> Why did we have to bother him? Don't get me started. And what he was doing. I mean, they had... Uh, hey, listen, that's like some of the best real estate I've seen. You know, I mean, in this world... Have you been to Waco? The ranch? Uh, I've driven through it. I've driven wow. through it. Wow, when did you drive through it? I don't know. Like From a road, Dallas road or whatever. Yeah. Dallas or whatever. And, uh, you know, it sucks ass, but, like, that's, like, good real estate. And it's a be- it was a beautiful plot yeah. of land from the video that I've seen. From the videos I've seen. It's beautiful yeah. and it's huge. Yeah. It's a cool-ass building, too. In my opinion, if you decide that to live out there in a place like that, you're allowed to stockpile ammunition. And people. And explosives and people. Yeah. yeah. He was allowed. Um... I've seen the Netflix show. Like those kids, they're getting taught. Like they're doing their ABCs and shit. Mm-hmm. And the moms are doing what the they're supposed to. The documentary series or like the actual the actual show I've never, I've never on Netflix. Oh, the show, it's so good, dude. It's really good. Who's so in it? Is, it, is that Michael Shannon? Ta- Michael uh, Shannon. Taylor, Taylor Kitsch. No, Michael okay. Shannon is like a, uh, is Giovanni Ribisi. Shannon Taylor Kitsch, the guy, uh, the guy that play is in Boardwalk Empire, the brother of of Nucky. Uh, that he's a great actor. The second season's so good. There's a bunch of great actors. Uh, I haven't watched the second oh, season. Good so for good. Kitsch, man. Yeah, that guy, that's a cursed actor. I know, dude. Well, sure he's active. done really yeah. good stuff. Oh, in that fucking yeah. movie where he's a superhero where he can jump. I like Carter. John Carter. I like John Carter. It I thought it was a solid alone, sci-fi. Buddy. Yeah, you dude, like I thought John it was a Carter. Solid sci-fi yeah, movie. Right, I was right. like, it's fine. It's terrible, but uh-huh. I liked it too, it John. Fine. It's bad, but I liked it too. It's fine. And it was box office poison. Mm-hmm. Like it's, that it's, ruined his career. It's Disney's biggest flop of all yeah, time. Yeah, what? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's a terrible wow. film. It cost so much money, it did nothing. Oh, yeah. It was like, gotta be like So that ruined his career, but. And then True Detective. And then True Detective. And then that movie Savages, the Oliver Stone movie. Bad. I like I actually yeah. like Savages too. Yeah, really. God damn wow, mine. you're just a Kitsch guy. That's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Taylor Kitsch's best thing they're is they're all is, fucking the same chick and they're fucking weed kingpins. That's that's a great movie. Taylor Kitsch's best thing. <laughs> was... I'm 14. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joey's it's not... drawing the S, the graffiti S, right now, and he's like, "I love Savages. <laughs> I like bad movies. I'm not saying it's an actually good movie, but it was a fun, dumb movie. Sure, sure, sure." Taylor Kitsch's best role was Riggins in Friday Night Lights, mm. the the NBC show. I actually show. haven't seen that. He's fucking incredible in it. He's like the star of the whole thing. I'm gonna watch. Besides, it. of course, uh, Wait, Kyle, Kyle Chandler, who I want oh. to be my father. Yeah, you've always wanted him to be your dad. I love Kyle Chandler, and I've never wanted anyone more to like raise me. Yeah. You've always said that. I want to raise me now. He's got like smiley eyes. He's, He's the kindest just, eyes I've ever seen. Just such I a know. man. A sparkly, such a hazy. beautiful man. Drive. Imagine him driving his F one fifty home, yeah. having a heart attack, barbecuing some fucking steaks in the back. He's he tells you about respect, catching Jordan and, Belfort. Oh my god, god. Give me it's that. just so sweet. Devin, you've told me privately that you think if there's one person on earth who's never committed a sin, it's Kyle Chandler. Oh, Chandler. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've said this before. If 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 anything happens to Kyle, if if we ever find out Kyle Chandler or Keanu Reeves ever did anything bad, we should all kill ourselves. I do feel similarly about Paul Rudd. And Paul Rudd. Yeah, that's yeah. a good to addition. The, yeah. That's a good addition. Yeah. I have three guys that are so I have pure. A new guy. New guy. Add another. Patrick J. Pespis. Who's the telemarketer? Who the fuck is that? Oh, Pat. If they try to cancel my boy, Oh, Pat. dude, I love that fucking guy. If they try to cancel oh. Pat, I'll fucking. Everyone check out Super Telemarketers on HBO. Yeah, sweetie That's sweetie the guy with the mustache, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was not an Former heroin addict. The greatest yeah. man of all time. Sweetest oh, yeah. man yeah. ever. You know? I haven't seen it. I, I need to oh, watch oh, it. It's, so good. it's literally about like your favorite people. You guys I love him it. driving with his wife. I've, I've heard it, amazing oh. things. I'm gonna watch. Yeah. Next thing I watch. So good. Celebrate the new season with delicious meals that take two minutes and practically zero effort. Factor, America's number one ready to eat meal kit, helps you fuel up with chef prepared, dietitian approved meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy healthy lifestyle. Learn to read, dude. This oh. is a big ad. Sorry, I'm full from my factor meal, which was <laughs> delicious. And I have the itis. 
Uh, Factor Meal Kiss, the greatest, the greatest meal prep food I've ever had in my entire life. You keep them in your fridge. It's it's real food. It's not bullshit fucking Stouffer's. It's not some bullshit you get at Vons. It's like full of, you know... It's, it's not full of steroids. It's it not the goddamn horseshit my wife makes. Oh, my God. Thank you, Connor. It's not, that, it's not that crap your wife makes, which which is full of shit. Factor and- needs a disgruntled husband to do an ad. <laughs> it's like my stupid bitch wife. It's no so longer of full of that. I was about to divorce that fat cow until <laughs> Factor. <laughs> I haven't even eaten the same room as her anymore, this stupid bitch. Factor meal kits, folks. They are uh, they are very good. I honestly, uh, this is a personal endorsement. <laughs> I'm so fucking convinced. No, Factor, yeah. cancel this ad, please. Uh, Joey, how many times do we have to go through this? I'm just saying, if I were Factor, I would say no more of Why? that. Why? Because you don't sound convincing. You just did it. They would say no more of you. Yeah. No, they would say, hey, at least somebody cares. No, on this thing. they wouldn't. Give your Factor ad, dude. Okay, here's the, here's let me do a personal cuff. endorsement. Factor is actually an amazing product. Yeah, they are. I used to spend so much money getting Postmates, fifty dollars a meal, and it was just so easy. And then at the end of the month, I would look at my bank, and I fucking spent eight thousand dollars on food. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. You that actually is a thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And then when I got Factor, I suddenly I've, I've got all this extra money. I'm way healthier. I'm getting fucking jacked. I'm stronger, of I'm losing weight, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's like, it literally exactly. gave me a million benefits. Exactly. So listen to Joey. He used to be a big fat pig, and now he gets factor. <laughs> so choose from over 34 weekly meal options. They are fresh, never frozen. You can even level up their gourmet plus options with premium wow. ingredients like leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. I mean, that is top of the line here, folks. Who does Fall asleep to this? Pre- <laughs> can, can you sell the premium that's, ingredients? I have to read it, scumbag. It didn't sound that premium to me. Well, that's what I'm, read- I'm is reading. I'm reading it. Whatever, go. Unbelievable with you. <laughs> if lunch times are hectic, Factor has you covered there, too. Keep your energy up with lunch-to-go meals. No microwave required. They're ready whenever you are. Head to factormeals.com slash hatewatch50 and use code hatewatch50 to get 50% off. That's code hatewatch50 at factormeals.com slash hatewatch50 to get 50% off. We all love Factor. Yeah, we love all it. use it. Connor has had it. We had it. I'm obsessed with out it. in New York. Yeah, Chris and Tommy gave us some. Sure. They are unbelievable. Those meals. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. Truly, and I lie all the time. I am not lying. <laughs> they were the best meals I've ever had that were prepackaged in my entire Same. life. I agree. They were shockingly good. Like shockingly good. So tasty. So delicious. So sensual. So erotic. <laughs> wow. Factor. Wow. All right. Thank you, Factor. I just busted in my pants. Yeah, Jesus. It's about kind of like back when you used to like run like a Filipino call center. <laughs> yeah. I've, I, I mean, Can I. Can we talk the, about this for a second? Absolutely. I love this. Uh, era. You know, this is one of my favorite eras of the great Joey LaFleur. Uh, literally, the, like, like the, the one of the greatest men to ever walk the face of the earth, Joseph Lafleur. And uh, when Amen. I first when I first met him, he was running a, a community of <laughs> Filipino people, mm-hmm. and would outsource work to them from his job, which was corrupt. You had a, you had a corrupt job. Bribe them with iPhones. It wasn't shit. illegal or anything. It was gray area though. It was gray know? area. Yeah, yeah. You were the gray man, yeah. and uh, but. So Joey ran all these like Filipino guys, like named Bilal, and you know mostly women or trans what? Um, women. Well, yeah, that's what happens in all yeah, those communities. Trans Everyone's like what? trans. You could just tell. Yeah, yeah. But Joey, explain your job. So, so yeah, we had a call center, and this is now over ten years ago. So I'll just give full details. It was a company that was sort of a high tech loan shark. Um, that was um, exploiting Hell yeah. payday loans, yeah. um, you know, via this new technology um, that came out. And then we figured out a way to use call centers to monetize all of these payday loan leads. People who wanted payday loans, let's have Filipinos call them and sell them other shit, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. And then so we started. I so my boss was like. Joey, like, go find five people to work at this call center and then train them and write a script for them. And then, like, they have to sell this product. And he told me the product. And so I was like, all right. 
I went, I just like looked up like what's the cheapest way to do it. It was Filipinos. You could pay them a dollar and seventy eight cents per hour. Fuck yeah. Wow. So a lot. So <laughs> <laughs> Joey, can I have a job, please? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so it, it, I would even say that. I'd be like, that's a ton of money over there for them. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're yeah. rich. They're rich over there. That's like 17 ketchup sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's like four syrup spaghettis. <laughs> 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 Fucking Filipino people and their diets. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. You, you order a fried rice at a Filipino restaurant. You're like, is this Skittles? Like, what the fuck is with these people? <laughs> no, Filipino eat, people eat like Buddy the Elf. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that for years. That's so funny that you said that. I've uh, said that for so long. They literally eat like they're an elf. Yeah. But they also mix in like a, the, the fetus of a chicken. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like That's the, the grossest thing. And like, like, we're like, like, a, like a leg is popping out of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of, no, there's a little of the shell. There's a little skeleton in the fetal position. And it's moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the puke. But so anyways, this <laughs> <laughs> But so this little operation took off with these first five Filipinos. It started making like five thousand dollars a day. And then you know, for the whole company. It wasn't me. It wasn't my money. But it, it, so he's like, Well, we gotta grow it. Like hire more Filipinos. And then by the end of it, I had fifty Filipinos that were all working for me. Fuck yeah, dude. And so I would sit there and like, I'd have to be like, I'd, I'd have to yell at him and stuff. Right. Where I'd be like, um, you know, Rose Ramon, what are you doing? Your numbers are way down. <laughs> Rose Ramon. And I'm just getting like hammered and just like yelling at them. <laughs> and they're like, this crazy American white man is, fu he's mean. And then, and then I'd be like, I'd be like, I got to chill to my boss. And he's like, fuck, why? Like, no, you can't chill. Like this thing is doing Iron Man numbers. And then um, pretty soon I was like, he would go, it's like, why aren't they working on weekends? And I'm like, it's a good question. I don't, yeah, they're working on weekends now. So I'm like, hey guys, now you're working on weekends. And they were just like, oh, Mr. Joey. They would call me Mr. Joey. Mr. Uh, Joey, yeah, They yeah, call yeah. Him Mr. Joey. I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know. And I'm like, well, either you're working on weekends or we're going to find other Filipinos that can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of land in the Philippines, yeah, yeah. okay? So then after I had like 50 of them, I got one a new Filipino. I'm like, you're managing all 50. Like, you're doing my job, basically. And then I'm like, and then I became the sicko where I was like, no breaks, weekends, 18 hours a day. And she, <laughs> he's a fucking slumlord. Yeah, it's insane. No, no, You're a I, horrible person. I, I was like twenty one. <laughs> Joey was fighting okay. for his life. He was trying yeah, to get yeah. involved in an. Industry. I wasn't a bad guy. I was young. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was sick. It was sicko behavior. No, you, 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 you don't like this period of your life. I love that. It was my favorite period. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, 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 Joey, 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 you did not like it. <laughs> no, no, come on, Joey. We're trying to get this on Disney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I it, I have nostalgia and it was so much fun, but I admit that it was sick and possibly immoral. But I, <laughs> I, I but it was just fun. But then, so uh, with the new Filipino managing the other Filipinos, they started uh, cannibalizing each other because they're now oh, there's no. jealousy. Oh man! Where it's like, why is one of us our boss? Like, at least have a white guy being our boss. Interesting. They didn't like that. They didn't they respect. Hated they it. don't respect their own. They're used to they, the colonial They fucking stuff, wanted yeah. to kill her. Yeah. They wanted to kill her. And then, like, the hours kept getting more and more, and they were like, they go, like, one of them, or no. So then the Filipino managing them came to me, and she felt terrible. She's like, I'm a race trader. Right. <laughs> she said that. That's no, a but subject, they, that's a subject headline of the email. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a race I'm trader. A race trader. <laughs> Mr. Jelly, I have realized that I'm a race trader. <laughs> she, she's just looking in a mirror at night being like, am I... White? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Uh, <laughs> but so, this is like, yeah, I feel so powerful. <laughs> D digital colonialism. Yeah, yeah, this is great. But then, so at some point, like, she's, her conscious conscience came in. Oh, I hate those. And then, you know, and I... <laughs> enough of that. Enough of that thing. And I had buried mine a long time ago at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just like, I serve at your liege. But you could, you could feel the fingers coming out of the soil here and there. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, no. And I would just be like, nope. I'm not the monster she is. 
which is what my boss was doing to me. So you kind of just pass the conscience down yeah. the chain. Right, right, right. Your job was literally a gypsy curse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you had it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like the last person you touch. Uh, <laughs> but then, so like at some point she came to me and she was like, Mr. Joey, their voices are going to be destroyed. Their voice boxes. Like they can't keep talking this much on the phone. Oh, that's so sad, dude. Yeah, and Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then I told... <laughs> they were, like, being forced to perform, like, Selena or You're something. like, hire more tea. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I told the owner. I'm like, hey, she's saying their voices are going to get, like, blown out. Their voice boxes or vocal cords are going to be damaged by the amount that we're making them work. And he goes, here's what we'll do. Go set him a smartphone. And I was like, what? He goes, Filipinos love smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> and so a smartphone is like an Android phone over right, there. Right, right, right. And so they can go on to the internet with it and like check their Facebook. And But, uh, you know, an $80 smartphone in the Philippines is like a million dollars. So if you give him a smartphone, he's like, they're ours forever. Wow. So then what in that man, it, this is so fucked up. Oh, so dark. <laughs> it gets this is horrible. It gets worse. It gets oh, more sadistic. Amazing. It gets even sicker. They're like, Joey, give them water. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold out there. Joey, listen. Water's for closers. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss goes, feed them. <laughs> I've heard come crawling on, back. on a full stomach, people do amazing <laughs> things. <laughs> But so so we give so here is here is the sickest part. This is so Here's the sickest up. part, and yeah. I have video of this somewhere. We send them the smartphone, or we gave like their manager money go buy him a smartphone. Yeah, and then this is like Wolf of Wall, Wall Street sicko stuff. We're like, I want you to film them receiving the smartphone, and I want you to do an award ceremony. And I want you to play Father John Misty music in the background. Oh <laughs> and when she receives the phone, I want everybody to clap. And then I want her to give a speech about how thankful she is. Are Wait, you serious? They all got one phone? Your boss made you No, no, that? only the top earner got a phone. Oh, dude. It was so sick. It was wow. sick. That's crazy. Humans are capable of evil. <laughs> Humans. Yeah. I am capable of evil. <laughs> oh, John, you would have... John would have been brutal. John would have been spit roasting. I'm going to give Joey a pass here because Joey was trying to just, like, be able to sustain himself on his own. Yeah, you, just, you didn't have a degree. You are in a brutal oh, atmosphere. Oh, no, no. I, yeah, I dropped I out of college to play internet poker, which was instantly outlawed. And then this, like, my friend was like, hey, come work for me. And it was like, if I... Right. I'm, what, am I going to live in my fucking mom's basement? What am I... Or I could torture Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, hey, you don't, you don't see them. They're not even people, right? By I have the video somewhere. You know, they're not around the here. award ceremony. The award ceremony. Jesus Christ! It sounds like the Webbies or something, or the, the fucking uh, oh, you know it, these weird <laughs> award shows. What, what's your the, the Razzies. The Razzies. The Razzies. Yeah, yeah. You know, lady, of filming her friends on the in a dirty call center. It's way worse. Well, than they're any willing Razzie. to do it to each other, so it's really not your fault. <laughs> that's yeah. what I used to say to him. Yeah. I'm like, hey, listen, that's the economy there. Hey, great minds. <laughs> great minds, you and I. Uh, one of my favorite moments was when Joey got our friend, I'm not going to say his name for fear of him not wanting that to happen, but he got our friend a job. He was moving to New York and he needed a job really quickly. And He's and now like a good, he's a great comedian, but we won't say his name. Incredible comedian. Yeah. I won't say his name. We'll say his name another time when it's about his comedy <laughs> On the Patriot. And, and not him uh, yeah. indulging. The best comedian I've ever seen, but we'll say his name another time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say his name because he was a part of uh, your yeah. sick, sick world. By the way, I left the company. He stayed for like he five stayed. more years. Yeah, no, he's, oh, a, yeah. he's a more like corrupt maniac. He's and one of the best guys ever, and look how no, he's actually like the nicest person yeah. of all That's time. That's my point about humanity. Stanford the best person. guy ever. Easily corruptible. Easily corruptible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he so. did course correct. Now he's uh, he's teaching like English yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> immigrants. He's not, he's not teaching Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a life debt to Filipinos where he's just like, let me. <laughs> just like a Asian woman named Sigrid walks through the door at his class and the Kill Bill music starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Joey was, uh, this guy, our friend was needing a job quick and Joey's like, I have a job where I like work from home. I think I might be able to get you a job and it would be like, like make everything really easy for you. You could just like work from home when you get to New York and shit. 
And the guy's like, okay, yeah. And Joey gets him the training process and all this, and, and he's about to get it. And I remember we're at an open mic, and he's like, he was about to accept it. And he goes, okay, but wait, like, Joey, like, um, how illegal is this? And Joey goes, Joey's like holding the beer. He's like half hammered. We're, we're at this stupid open mic we don't want to be at. And Joey goes, here's the thing. It's like basically like... If they raid anybody, they'll raid our bosses first. <laughs> so then we have time to n stop doing it. <laughs> right. And then we'll be fine. And then well, we the just boss keeps all the money. And so, yeah, yeah, like we weren't ever going to be at risk. One of the funniest things, I know it didn't, it didn't come across uh, on the show right now funny, but like one of the funniest things I've ever witnessed was you telling him like, here's the thing. Other people will get raided before us. <laughs> yeah. And then we have time to like throw our laptops <laughs> in the dumpster. Yeah. And, and the microwave. And then, yeah, microwave all of our evidence and uh, nothing will happen to us. We might get a knock on the door. Hey, maybe they'll break it down in the middle of the night. But at the end of the day, we're not going to jail. He goes, our bosses will go to jail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're shoving the newspaper and the toaster like yeah. Jason Horn. Like <laughs> turning the gas on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a time. Uh, what a time. I guess, should we finish yeah, this, what's up with, this masters, with the Masters and for stuff? For bow to Danny like his other young castmates. I love Topher. If I so much as said hi to Topher, I would be given a scolding and then ignored by Danny. It broke my heart. He was the only guy on that set with integrity and a moral compass. That's my experience. I was there. Well, she's not the only one speaking up because Topher Grace's wife also posted to her story. Oh, Ashley writes shit. to every grape victim that is real. Enough of the grape. Okay. Yeah. Show some respect for what happened. It actually okay. is. Yeah, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's like yeah. annoying. Yeah. Traumatized by witnessing society debate and focus their attention on what is going to happen to the rapist. I see you. <laughs> and it turns out there were more cast members from that 70s show who also wrote support letters for Danny Masterson. And that would be the actors Hell who yeah. played... <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Like in World War II, we raped each other <laughs> two by two. You kidding me? <laughs> yeah, these numbers are low. It's a bullshit number. We used to rape crowds by the day. I used to rape guys like you and stack them up like sandbags. <laughs> Kitty and Red Foreman. Yeah, well, no, you know. You know. Uh, Ashton's a murderer. And that's all we needed to know. This is a really funny video, and it's it's once again we're just moving right on. But like, <laughs> so this is just a baseball game. Yeah, I don't know how serious it is. <laughs> I don't know like what the meaning of this baseball game is. But this, so they hired uh, ball boys, right? For the uh, they the fetch foul balls. And the shit. Marlins. This is the Florida Marlins. So the ball boys are all like you know they're all like Florida Project characters and shit. Yeah. And apparently the Marlins just hire anybody, <laughs> and this guy. The ball is fair. Connor, you understand this, right? Fair. Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows fair and foul. Well, and John, well. do you understand it? It means it's good. It's not like. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess I guess it's self-explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the ball is fair. It's in play, and the ball boy thinks it's foul, and he just grabs it, and he throws it into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know. Let's like let's like two runs happen because yeah. of his mistake, and he doesn't work. He, you know, he's like a, you're not ever supposed to make a mistake like this. It's, it's like the guy that sweeps up the court in NBA games, like ruining Game Seven yeah. of the yeah. So watch this; it's pretty amazing. Fair ball. The Dodgers, Mookie Betts, run around the bases. This guy just goes, "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> he's so clueless, yeah. completely clueless. And then this is the fa ba ba the favorite part. He sits down and they explain to him what he just did. They're like, that was a fair ball. And he spits the sunflower seed into the thing and goes, da. He's like, what do you want from me? <laughs> he's like, he's like, what? he's like, I fuck, I work at Lids. He's like, what the fuck you want from me, bro? He's like, I sell hats at the mall. He's like, he's like I don't know why they hired me. This shit is like cool. Like I was like on the field and shit. <laughs> this guy kicks ass. Look at him. Look at this bad Santa character. I love how the crowd, he must be deaf. The crowd is oh, going booing nuts. Him. He's got incredible focus to be like, I don't care. Like, He's like, I got real problems. That's how I would react also, though. Yeah, He's yeah, going, low key. I don't fucking, I don't mind. He goes, he goes yeah. you guys hired me. Like, oh, <laughs> I'd be like, you guys like baseball? <laughs> <laughs> but this game sucks. It, like, never ends. Incredible stuff. Incredible <laughs> stuff. Um, this is interesting. 
an Instagram influencer uh, called child pro- child protective services on her ex boyfriend and uh, lied about him abusing his kids, and he was uh, taken to like jail, and it's all a lie. And then she admits it on a podcast. So that's the people. She get in like huge trouble for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can only help. We we could uh, we could uh, tell people her info uh, after this video plays. But yeah, she admitted on camera to a, a heinous crime. And uh, but I mean, God, look at those tits. Let her be. You say whatever she wants. Hey. She's innocent. I called like child services mm-hmm. on this one. <laughs> I called I call child services on my ex because he pissed me off. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with this person. Whatever. Like, you know, cheater, fucking piece of shit. It's amazing. Yeah. Isn't that amazing right there? Yeah. Just for, we're not even finished with the video, but isn't that incredible? It's to, you, to just to just be so casual and so dumb about like what you're saying I, out loud on, uh, on on video. I'm almost just like jealous. I know, me too. Of being that dumb. I know, me too. There's not a care in her mind. I it's know. the lack of empathy too. It's really creepy. Yeah, but empathy takes like emotional Intel- intelligence. intelligence. Yeah, it's, it's like. like yeah, she's just so dumb that she doesn't understand yeah. how evil she is. Yeah, she's no. like Herman Goring, but with she, like big tits. She thought her falsely accusing a guy of being, uh, you know, of calling child services on a, on a man that she just like was like annoyed at. She thought it was the same as like Bart Simpson calling a guy mean like, "Is your refrigerator <laughs> running?" <laughs> like, she thinks it's a wacky prank. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I really hope something happens. Liesable, dumb shit. He had kids. Yeah, her life. I called child services Mm -hmm. on his ass and I like fabricated everything and like censored. By the way, I'm going to give her credit. I can't believe she knew what the word fabricated. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I like laundry detergented his ass. (laughs) (laughs) I like totally Febreze his ass. (laughs) and they like went to the door and like there was a whole process like i don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them but she probably does because of what i said like the way i ai'd that shit you know like real ai a guy a, like a gimp mask like like checking the levels on the podcast i mean it's like they're doing like the pulp fiction podcast <laughs> it's unbelievable but it's also amazing the lack of, of of awareness she has on like what the effect was on children yeah like children yeah. now don't have a father yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like they, well you, she didn't have a father and she's you know, and she's fine. like and it's like funny because like the same thing happened to me when I was a kid. So like, and I'm fine. Yeah, like, it's like the world goes round and round. It's like <laughs> things come back to you like the same way they happen to you, and it's like fucking funny. Like to me, you know, like like it's funny. Like those kids, like they'll be sucking dick and getting fake tits, like in a year. Like they're like eight, but like if they get some fake tits, like they could do what I do. <laughs> the interviewer's like, "Are you ever afraid of like?" Going to hell, maybe? And she's like, stupid. Like, I'm not worried about going to hell. You're stupid. Like, He's like, my hair's stupid. already red. Yeah. Like, that's like, I like fight back against hell every day I'm with like my red hair. the devil already. He's like, I'm shit. already the fucking devil, bitch. Like, <laughs> shit, like, fake bruises type shit. <laughs> Hilarious. Be careful, fellas. What yeah. the, what yeah. the yeah. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What a reveal. That guy the shit? in the get mask. Be careful, fellas. Where is he? Look at that guy. Oh, Ugh. my God. This was filmed in the parking garage from 8 millimeter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At the machine. Yeah. There. <laughs> fake bruises, you fake shit, and then you just made, like, exaggeration story. and then On their kid. On, exaggeration on his story. You made, like, exa- these are the type of people that online, they write his instead of he's. They mm-hmm. go, he's an idiot. Mm-hmm. The H-I-S. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Those people. You made exaggeration yeah. story. Like, so it, like, yeah, then they came, and they were like, oh, like, is this sort of best western like what's going on used. you know you could lose your kids and i was just like that sucks <laughs> that's t- what is going on in this room i mean they're the most yeah. they're, they're, they're it's almost it's you know it's almost it's charming you're so evil you're retarded <laughs> <laughs> no yeah it's really that. It, that's it. Like the, well, the, you're so retarded, you're evil. You're so retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's or Lenny, vice versa. Yeah, Lenny right. Formation, yeah. man. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. you start like killing because you don't know it's wrong. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 She doesn't understand this isn't like a silly thing to do to somebody. Yeah. yeah. You've she ruined think, multiple lives. Here. She thinks she's TPing a house, <laughs> and the guy yeah. is like in prison now, and he can't see his kids. It's crazy. We should. Could you text me her yeah, name, by the way? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of a comment. She's I'm like, one time I did this prank on a guy. You know table topping when you like go be so my friend went behind this guy and then I pulled out a shotgun and I shot him <laughs> square square in the face. <laughs> Like classic tabletop shit, like. <laughs> so like, we like pants this guy, like in gym class. We like pulled his pants down and then we stabbed him to death. <laughs> it was crazy. He like, they say he sees to live. <laughs> he lives he's in totally. like a graveyard down. He's like, like, he like, like, like lives in soil. He like literally, like basically, like technically, like lives six feet under. He's like a rock now with we, his name. We call him. We call him Soil SpongeBob because he like lives in the in the dirt under the sea. <laughs> Um, you know what? We've done a lot of good work here, but I think we need to give the people more. I think we should wrap it up with a body cam. Yeah, yes. I love body yes. cam. Because these yes. always allow for, you know, none of us have to get into personal stories. None of us have to distract from the brilliance of the, of, because, you know, I've already said last week, it's like, it's amazing the bevy of info that this world gives us. It's just unbelievable. Every single week, every single month, every single day, every single hour, every single minute, people out there are the biggest retard. You can imagine. I'm so excited. And all mm. they do is give us info, and they film it all. They all film it. I've got chills going down my spine right, <laughs> right? now. Wasn't that, what yeah. a speech, right? Yeah, that's I great. love that. I feel like I'm watching like the old MGM, like the the mm -hmm. or like a Miramax preview yeah. screen. They should, somebody should that felt like when you get when you go to like old Regal Cinemas and you get the roller coaster and the, movies <laughs> <are starting. laughs> the popcorn's popping. <gasps> exactly. <laughs> oh man, somebody should play like Friday Night Lights music behind that. Like, did a new new new, did a new new new, did a new new new. I'm just. I wonder if I've already seen this because I watch so much of this. This for is fun by myself. An entitled daughter loses it when finally told no. There we go. So this is like the Danny Masterson. I, have seen this. Of, uh, I love this. Have you seen this? Yeah, it's pretty it's good, amazing. right, Joey? It's oh, very, very good. You and I, man, I love you to death. <laughs> Here we go. Police were called about a daughter refusing to leave her father's car. Okay. My daughter's in it. She refuses to get out, and I want to get my car back, please. Why isn't she getting out? So there's just a woman sitting in the in a Camry, and this man is like, get her out of here. She's got a lot of problems. I offered to give her a ride, and now... This is my dad, and I think he's... Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, but he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on him to what? To get out of the building, to come drive the car? <laughs> Um, he just parked us here, so I don't know. Yeah, but you you know he doesn't have to drive you anywhere, but it's his car. He doesn't have to take you anywhere if he doesn't want to. I understand. Well, he already took me here, so. I love the vocal fry even between the cop and her. It's like, yeah. It's like they're both like, like we should do a podcast. Like, <laughs> you guys want to do like Red Scared -er? <laughs> We should talk about our craziest like blow job yeah. on the mic. POV JOI. So I'm just sitting in the car. Okay, but. Do you realize that if he doesn't want to take you, you I love when women are trying to act car, calm property. when they're infuriated. So. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. I'm letting you know that that's how that works. Okay, well, I'm going to be sitting here. So, whenever he's ready. He yeah, this is a drive. civilized conversation. To, to the untrained ear, this is a civilized conversation. You ever, like, talk to a woman a woman before? You know right now that they're basically screaming yeah. at each other. Yeah. This is the yeah. game, the war game scene in Moonraker right now between two women. Yeah, I mean the 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 girl doesn't under she's still living off of the idea that she's like I'm just a woman trying to get driven home by my by my father. Yeah. And she thinks like that's like legally like okay and it's like yeah. if the dad doesn't want to drive you anywhere he's like you have to get out of the car now. Okay, he, uh, well, he they drove me here. He drove me here so he has to drive yeah. me somewhere else. They make the rules. They, they have, have rules the in their head that <laughs> sub subvert law. He goes yeah. in the car the going car is like I'm about to call like child protective services. <laughs> <laughs> and the cops like oh my god one time I did that to a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do not. I think he might oh, be I having some sort of like, is... all, like early dementia or something. But he is not. <laughs> Imagine himself. if the cop fell for that. Um, we were just gonna go to Starbucks. They and take him to the hospital. <laughs> so, He's like, I heard you're demented. He said he needed to take a package somewhere. Yeah, bring her down here. I, I got her a couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He well, he just got me a gift She's card. Supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get picked up. <laughs> Dude, the dad is Damn. like, she's supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow she got out and. This and that man. I bet this is in. What do you guys think this is? I feel like this is in like DC. This um, feels like Maryland. I look something. at the palm trees. I'm thinking like 
Yeah, the, the, pa- the palm trees don't are make sense. Palm trees? It's probably the Carolinas. Palm Carolinas, somewhere probably, in the it's probably south. the Carolinas. Those aren't palm trees, are they? Those are. Yeah, oh, in the, the back. back. Yeah, 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 in the very back. I think it's Florida. Could be Florida. 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 Zoom in on that license plate. You can probably tell. <laughs> Zoom. Go back. Actually, yeah, uh, we have to investigate now. Uh, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, we won't be able to. Look tell. at that palm tree. Go back to the license plate. And the dad is the weirdest black guy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, see, we'll, we'll know eventually. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll yeah. figure it out. All right, back to this. And showed up back at the apartment. So I felt sorry for her, my mistake. Gave her more money, gave her more things to do, took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car. And now she well, I'm just, I'm just trying to spend the, the day with I'm them. Sorry, I'll like, go out she's trying to be a good dog. She's like, yeah, so I fucked his brother and he got all pissed. Not, so that's not <laughs> my <laughs> dad. <laughs> she fucked her own uncle. I fucked my <laughs> uncle <laughs> and like, now my dad's like all pissed. Okay. She's like, man, man, what's your name? She goes, Amanda Bynes. I'm Amanda Bynes. She's all that. Ever heard of it? Retard. Where I live normally, <laughs> I'm not trying to live in this car. You know what I mean? So yeah, but you're not trying to get out right? of this car. Correct. Which right now you're breaking the law because it's not your car, so you're trespassing. So I go on Ubers. I okay, go on Ubers with or... the permission of the person. He That's another thing, it. real quick. I want to get into these. There's a so there's so many videos of people that refuse to get out of Ubers and they don't understand that when the ride ends, they're now committing like yeah, trespassing, trespassing and yeah. shit. Yeah. It's it's insane what people, do. No. you know. It's I, I guess that's a part of like the gig economy. Like people aren't sure of the rules behind everything because they're like, well, you have a company behind you, and it was like the minute they turn off their app, no company. That's his car. It's his car mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Like like it's it's just amazing what what people uh, think they're allowed to get away with nowadays, especially this entitled whore. <laughs> this car, you're trespassing mm-hmm. in his no. stru- in, Okay, so. <laughs> We can play this game, but you're gonna get arrested. I mean, that's literally how it's gonna be. Or you could just step out of the car. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to you. This but I'm trying to This kicks ass. I love this, dude. This is yeah. like a literally versus basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm basically just trying to spend a good day with and my dad. She goes, dad. well, literally, you're committing a crime. <laughs> and she goes, well, tech- she, and then the other one goes, well, he's my te- dad. Well, technically, he's my dad. And then she goes, well, basically, <laughs> you're going to jail. <laughs> The dad just blows his brains out. <laughs> the dad kills himself. But like wire. physically, you're in this car. <laughs> <laughs> but like mentally, I'm going to Starbucks with my dad. <laughs> this is the war of the adverbs. <laughs> Listen, um, you explained it to me, but I would like to shut my door down. I'm not doing that. It's that's not so, they it's think that car. That's so funny. She thinks that it's going to work somehow. That, 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 do it's what, so funny. They have their well, own rules. Well, here's the thing. She, well, yeah, she's a woman, so of Yeah, course, they're retarded. It's the unchecked more, power of but, sass. Yeah. And now it's like an, uh, it's an now the unstoppable there. object of, uh, you know, meets like an yeah. immovable force. No, it's yeah. like a woman is telling the cop, like, you know, you didn't clean the sink. And the cop's like, I'm the police. So yeah. like, I'll fucking take you to jail. You don't get to pull that shit with me. Because, man, I'm the She's chief like, of police. Well, like, you didn't take out the cans last night. And the cop's like, I don't, I'm not in your house. You're I'm not a garbage She's like, Well, man. I went through your phone last night. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, it's uh, it's one of those things where she she keeps this this girl keeps being like, yeah, but it's between me and my father. She doesn't understand the dad is like so over the relationship. Yeah. She's like, he's I about call to press the charges. cops. I'm gonna yeah. press charges on you, and yeah. the police have nothing to do with like their relationship. Mm-hmm. They don't give a shit. I need piss right just, John, we're about to how be How are you the only how person that doesn't drink booze and has to pee all the time? Uh, look at what I've drank. I he does drink pro- three. I'll be back in thirty seconds. Do you have prostate cancer? No, it's been bad lately though. Let us figure it's you. not bad. You drink a nitro drink cold things. brew, a Gatorade, and a Fiji water. Yeah, yeah. You drink so much. I'll be back in 30 I mean, how much seconds. Longer I would have been back. You need to drink so booze. So it's like 15 minutes. You need to drink booze. Okay, go to the bathroom. I'm going to pee. Can we figure out what is this fucking Jeff Bezos? Go to the What's bathroom. going on? By the way, you, 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 hold on. Show the people what you look like again real quick. Look at that. Look at that. Is that on my pizza That's box? That's a beautiful look. Look at him. He looks like he runs a Mario's pizza. <laughs> God, I hate Want that to discuss- guy. I, you know that, you know that guy has been on thin ice for weeks. <laughs> what is for this? French culture. I don't. I pay for premium, cocksucker. Sorry, folks. You always do this. 
No, it says we're on. No, 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 no. It says it says we're on. On September eighteenth, twenty twenty two. I would like to apologize to you, Connor. Uh, Usually we run a tighter ship. You came from New York. Okay. Here we go. We got. I got that. Okay. Yeah. You're fine. Sorry about that, Connor. Just apologize, Connor. I apologize, Connor. I'll never forgive you. Connor's understanding like how we work here. Last week, really clean, really tight. Mm -hmm. This week, clean and tight with a lot of slop. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But. That's how the sausage just made, you know? I think it's been fun. And our, I'm having fun. At the end of the day, we make the best ragu. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pee. So now look, look, the dad in the back, he's like, he's pressing charges. They're giving him like a thing. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sign a bunch of paperwork. We're pressing, <laughs> <I'm> pressing <laughs> charges against my daughter. The cop's like, giving him no choice. The cop's like, we're public servants. She's like, can you get me a glass of water then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can go to Starbucks then. All right. <laughs> I'll get out of the car. Give me Starbucks. She goes, okay, yeah, green tea frappuccino. <laughs> Well, we're here to solve a problem. Unfortunately, Do you have a payroll? The problem is that you're in the car. To solve the dad's the already problem. pressing charges. There's not a solution. What? There isn't a solution. The solution is that you step oh, look up, at that cop. either stand She's over cute. here, you could sit, there's a bench over here, there's a she bench is there, there's a bench over cop. there. She tries okay. to wrestle uh, the girl, by the way. Can't do it. She's, she's trying to wrestle the girl. Well, you'll see. Oh, sorry, sorry, spoiler. Wait. Don't spoil her. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on. I go ahead and stand out of the car. <laughs> no, I stepped out. It's fine. Please allow me to. No, you're shut not my closing doors. the door. So I don't want to shut it on you. I wish the cop would just like, piss the whipper. I can run to you. Not <laughs> just don't touch it. This car because it's not your car. The daughter keeps going like, "Listen, he gave me a Subway gift card, and like, I'm going to Subway right now. So, <laughs> no. like, she kept she keeps, she keeps mentioning like that he she got a gift card from the dad. Like that, yeah. that's that's how you know she's like fresh out of like rehab. Oh, oh yeah. Do you guys have authority oh, yeah. over yeah. this? I don't want to give you cash because you're gonna buy drugs with it. Exactly. I'm gonna get you Subway gift card. Exactly, that's yeah. so sad. Try and figure out how to like resell your Subway for hair. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You fucking embarrassment of the family. <laughs> the dad's I like, look, I just, I re-gifted a bunch of gift cards there, and I thought that'd be enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's okay. All right, you're going to end up. No. Gonna end up right you now. are. Stop. Here we go. Here we go. Pull her. Let's fucking go. Take her out of that camera. Day, you're going to come out of the car, so do we have to make this harder? I don't want to. Don't pull my arm out of its socket. Well, don't, don't touch me. Just hold, we'll just get the statement. Don't We're touch me. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't molest me. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We're going to end up having to use force I would like to press charges for assault and well, assault charge. Assault. <laughs> I just was assaulted. There's no year assault. under arrest. I want to press charges for battery. Mm -hmm. She goes, actually, citizen's arrest? I'm arresting you, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Policeman. <laughs> press charges. It's unlawful. I would like to press charges. You don't get to. I'm being held against my will. Great. Get out of the car. No, he's not being held against my will. He can't even look at her. The cop can't even so, look at her. Objection. So you can get out of the car. You can leave on your own accord. You can walk away. Or you're going to end up going with us. Get a judge or something. Like, I don't, a I don't know. Get a judge. <laughs> a guy with a big cloak and yeah. white fucking wig comes down there. Judge shows he just bludgeons her with his <laughs> gavel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell you. Get, get a, a judge. judge. I want the chief of police. Like, I want I the mayor. Really and I want a judge. So. Mail me some papers. She's I mean, tweaked I out, know. too. Like, yeah, she's yeah. She's, she's, she's uh, Whatever the charges yeah. are, like, let me know. Well, right now, are you going to give me a ticket? Why don't you just give me a ticket? Well, we could give you, but you have to get out of the car. That's the problem. So the main or problem. a verbal warning? No. Be like, hey, please don't sit in people's cars Man. again if they don't want you. It's anymore. like watching a scene out of traffic. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is like watching, like, fucking uh, Michael Douglas with his daughter in traffic. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what a world. Um. So that we've tried that. We're trying to get you out. No, you didn't. But anyway, um, so, my dad is obviously like demented, and he's got like that's a issue sick. that I can't diagnose. Right? Um, I'm I don't know what to do because he's getting older. Really? Yes, in fact, we live at the same building. Okay. I am his caretaker. So you're his caretaker. Yes, I am. Okay. And you know what? And how do you care for him? Um, I, I suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I fondle the balls, <laughs> officer. Uh, I stroke the shaft while I work the nuts. Idiot. I fuck him. I fuck his brother. <laughs> I fucked my whole family, okay? <laughs> and now you're telling me to leave this 2018 Camry? <laughs> the cop just shoots her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, we would have less racial tension in this country if, like, there were videos like this where she just got shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cops should start shooting, like, like annoying white, white women, women a little bit. Black yeah. people would let out a big sigh of relief and be like, that was weird, but all right, there. Black people would be like, that wasn't too. right, and that mirrors, like, the injustice uh, that happens to us, but... It's nice to see. I do love They're this like, take. Y'all good like, for like two weeks. Cops don't need to stop killing people. They just start saying they need to kill more. everybody. <laughs> kill everybody. Yeah. No, we need equal <laughs> opportunity. Yeah. Cops should have turret guns on top of their cars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need equal opportunity frontier justice. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of him. You work? Yes, I do. I, I work a lot. I do things. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What do you do? Drugs. I love like my brother used to sign before do? he burned my mom's house down. What do you do? You just like police? Yeah, the cop got all personal. What is policing? You hear what the cop just said? What did he say? He goes, you sound a lot like my brother did right before he burned burned my mom's house down. Oh, that fucking yeah. damn. So the cop is even like He's listen. recognizing like the mania. Psychosis. Yeah, he's psychosis. Yeah. He can't stand yeah. her. Yeah, he can't stand her. Man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Supervisor. What a domino. But here's the issue. Your father is wanting you out of the car. He's yeah. willing to press charges. Therefore, you're going to end up going with us because you're refusing to get out of the car. We, I literally cannot be nicer to you. It's like, what if from a doorway... At my house, and like Damn, you were holding scenario. it. Different scenario. Different. Oh, now she's trying to be different. sultry. What is this? What is this? What <laughs> is this? Pouty and hot. What is this crackhead yeah. sultriness? She's like, she's like, ooh, Mister Officer, do you want to fuck one of my moles? <laughs> those, I think those are the fucking... cops. Just like, look, ma'am, you're so lucky you're not black. I can't. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. I mean. <laughs> We would have been back at the station by now with you in a body bag. <laughs> this isn't your car. Is that your street? Yeah. What are you doing? Is she trying? She's that- trying. She looks like me before I go into the dentist, where I'm trying to push my teeth back, so it looks <laughs> like it looks like they're more even. What? I go, I've been wearing my retainer, Doc. <laughs> Back in high school, dude. In high school, I used to. Uh, I was like, what? before I had to go into the dentist or the orthodontist or whatever, I used to like. I'd be like, oh fuck, he's gonna be pissed. I haven't been wearing my retainer, so all day I would just like push my teeth back, just bleeding, bleeding. I'm like literally like pour, like I forcing that would my. Work. I did, and it did. <laughs> also, you thought Those the dentist idiots. cared? Like you thought like <laughs> like you're his one project. Like the dentist is going like, oh man, I've been working my whole life for <laughs> Devin Costa's straight <laughs> it's smile. Like scissor hands, dad. <laughs> My dentist used to say I was a great patient, which used to freak me and my mom out. And my mom, and my mom used to be like, "It's always weird." He says you're a great patient. I'm like, "Yeah, because I fuck them. <laughs> I let them suck me off." Okay, but it's the cities. This chick's so sweet. It's just not your stone. It's the cities. Okay, so, the city. What do you think she's on, John? Uh, amphetamines. Who's yeah? Like, who owns the pavement? I want to talk it's a to lot of jerky I see. The sad thing is, I've met a bunch of people like that. I don't know. Where, because uh, like I meet I, a lot of heroin, like hardcore addicts, and they're like basically like homeless people, but they're like younger, and they'll usually have like really dirty hands. That's how I could tell. And then like, and they're dirty, they're filthy people. But like, the sad part is, is when you get people like that. Where, like, if you just met them at first glance, you think they're, like, normal people, but then you realize, like, oh, you kind of smell bad and you're really sweaty. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, you're, like, a meth addict. Something's and not you, right. Yeah, something, yeah. and it's the beginning of your journey. Yeah, yeah. Like, it just started this month. Yeah. And, like, I'm catching yeah. you right there, and yeah. it's, like, God, five or six times, people just like that. The sweating aluminum. Oh, the sweating oh, yeah. is crazy. Yeah. 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 No, it's always crazy when you meet somebody, and you're like, you seem normal, and then you start looking at their hands, and their, yeah. their nails are bitten down to, like, the core, and you're like, The Whoa. dirt. Yeah. yeah, that's how you. That's how you f- get along. It's just fucking dirt all over their fucking fingers. Yeah. I think you would have to try to get in contact with them or something. I don't, I don't know. Talk to the bank that like they tackle this bitch, right, Joey? Let's skip to the tackle. Get to the tackle, yeah. Call oh, someone. here we go. Because I don't here we want go. To, I don't want us to get it hurt, and I want you to get hurt. So I really would like you to get out of the I don't want us want. to get hurt. I want you to get hurt. So we're going to hurt you. It'd be funny if you fast forward and there's just a German Shepherd mauling. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating me. He's eating, eating my face. Defiance. That's your choice. You ever seen it? Defiance. Daniel Craig. <laughs> She's like, is that the Jews in the woods? <laughs> That's right. <sighs> Defiance. Okay. Oops. All right. Drag her out. Um, no. Get out of here. You, you varicose vein bitch. Why didn't they just right. do that? No, I'm not going to 
because they always want to. They don't want to actually like do this. They don't want to like file paperwork. I would exactly. love to do it's that to her. I love to throw her get, out of a fucking car. They just want her to get out of the fucking car. Like just leave. Get yeah, the out. most dangerous cop of all time is a guy who loves to do paperwork. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's always the funniest thing about cops. Is like they're like usually very dumb, and it's like hilarious. I'm like, how do they do all that paperwork? It's like hilarious. They have to like give themselves like homework. They give to their stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you do this. You're taking English right now. You're under arrest. No, I'm not under arrest. I'm not. I'm you're the yeah, handcuffs on you. You're under yeah. arrest. You're under arrest for trespassing and resisting. You can't do that. We yeah. can. No, you're not going to. You're not going to. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I wish she didn't have stop. to. Stop. Imagine if that worked. Imagine if you just go stop and the cops go, all right, shit. Fuck. <laughs> She's manifesting. Right. Let's go back no to this. No one's no ever said that to me. <laughs> oh my God. No Holy one's... shit. You're the first one. Unbelievable. Didn't have to. What was that? Maitland? Where's Maitland? Uh, Joey, look up where Maitland is. We tried to work it out with you. What the stop. fuck is Maitland? How do you spell it? I can't even see it. M A I T L A N L A N D. Maitland. Maitland police. I mean, this is like a- Stop. Stop policing me. Stop policing me. Florida. I'm sorry that this is the way that- Florida. Florida. Yeah. You got it. There we go. Florida got this it. This is not the law. This is not this the is law. Possible. Once you wrestle the I thought you said that woman couldn't wrestle her down. I might have been mixing videos together. Word. Mixing up retards. I, yeah. I've I watched so That's many like of these. Yeah. Mistake. Hey, we do it all, man. I get it. It's okay. Oh, you know, I just remembered the one that I was thinking of. It's a big fat guy in a truck who's like a a squatter, and he's like um, he does like First Amendment uh, rights kind of stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. And he was he was strong. I don't know why I mixed these up. I must have watched them back to back. Well, she looks like a trucker. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That must have been it. But yeah, no, so that's kind of the whole thing. Right. I'm not resisting. Oh no. Well, they got her. I have to search you. Hey. Hey. I have to search you. There's one Just more big moment here. Let's go to the wildest We are moments. not a corporation. We are not a co-op. You're not a cop. Oh, she's doing some sovereign citizen co shit. Co-op. No. What does that mean? You're not a co-op? It's a schizophrenic wordplay. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not spend time analyzing. I don't know. I think she's brilliant. It's <laughs> a beautiful mind over here. You're a robber. You're stealing me. You're Dude, I, I keep asking like that. I go, what's a wobber? <laughs> Kidnapping me. Okay. You're abducting me. Oh. Ow, you're hurting me. You don't Ow. Teeth are no, up. stop doing it. Yay! Oh, the, she's Just gonna... sit down. None of this will work. Yay! Dude, the yeah. backseat of cop cars suck ass. Yeah. Way. They're so yeah. uncomfortable. It's like they really could use like they need some ergonomics. <laughs> like the, the the backseat of a cop car is so uncomfortable. It's unbelievable. Get a Tempur Pedic or something. <laughs> mm. Have I'm you ever been in the backseat of a cop car? They suck, wow. man. They are so uncomfortable. I, you, when were you in the backseat of a yeah, cop car? Yeah, I was driven home. I was, I was driven home once. It's the whitest reason of all time. <laughs> I was lost and I called the cops. <laughs> they just gave me a ride. Well, I called the cops one day to say hi. And I just wanted to check in how they were doing. And then they said, how are you? And I said, well, I'm a little lost in downtown LA. And they gave me a ride home. <laughs> I was a kid. I was like in eighth grade. I was with my friends. They yeah. were and they were Korean. One of them was black, so it was nice of the cops yeah. to do that. I, I thought I, I thought we'd have to ditch. Why the they black. drive I you home? I thought we'd have to ditch the black guy to get a ride, but they they helped us all out. Because uh, like, we were uh, technically there was a curfew for people our age, and we were stuck in um, Montrose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we just wa we were like, man, or all of our none of our parents could take us home. We were like, how the fuck do we get home? Like the buses stopped running. Yeah. And uh, we just walked up to a cop car and we just like explained ourselves and they put us in the back. And they, yeah. How far is Montreux? <sighs> 20 minutes. What was Bev doing? Not even that. From here, it's like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's like yeah. 10 or 15 minutes from here. What was Bev up to? Uh, <laughs> I might have like not wanted to call. Yeah, yeah. Dude, where the okay. fuck was your mom? I just know Bev, and I know she would have been rails. there in a heartbeat. <laughs> um, I would love to see like body cam footage of a cop who has like a really guilty conscience. Just like a handcuffing person being like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I love you, I love you, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to touch you like that, I'm so sorry. I saw I saw footage of a cop having a mental breakdown because he got shot at. I was it. You love the, what a the, the fucking, Yeah, what an yeah. asshole. Was it a black guy? 
It was a black guy. Yeah. And it wasn't, he wasn't getting shot. A guy came out of his trailer and shot a gun in the air and the guy started crying and the paramedic had to oh, take see, the cop's gun that. away from it. It's a great video, that. man. Damn, really? Yeah. We got to make play on Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. I have another one for the Patreon similar. Just body cam we'll circle back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, also, I forgot. I was in the back of a cop car recently when we had to identify the homeless man that. Uh, God. Oh, yeah. Those sucked. God. When yeah. he, when he pulled that, uh, it, what we thought Brad. was a gun, but it turned Brad. out, it turned out to be a, a lighter. Uh, a lighter. Yeah. You know this story? No, no. No. Oh, we got. Oh, we we're watching Top Gun. Okay, and Maverick, uh, Century City, Top oh, Gun, yeah. Maverick, Maverick. Yeah, okay. yeah. And we uh we drove home, and then uh we. No, get this down. was in 1988. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching it at home. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I thought maybe you're watching it here, and then you guys went out. Uh, we're driving home, and then what was the intersection? Oh, you don't want to give it out. It's right down the street. Down but the street. it was a stop sign, and then I stop at the car, and I just hear Devin go, John, John, John. I look to my right. There's just a dude with a hoodie up, going like this. Holding a thing that it literally looked at the barrel like of a gun. It was dark. It, it looked like a gun. Yeah. And I have a hybrid, and I was like, oh, fuck, we're fucked. And then I, I hit the gas, and then the guy, we go forward, but the John guy, like, was already, us. like, thinking about, like, taking over the podcast and everything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like oh, I was oh, like, Dev, so Devin's dead. ka -ching. He's like, so I'm in the driver's seat now. Uh, yeah. He's like, all oh, that Patreon money's mine. Yeah. I actually threw Devin out of the car and hit the <laughs> yeah. gas. Yeah. The actual story is, though, Devin dove behind you, like, as a human I shield. told Devin to get down. No, he told me to get down, and I got down, yeah. and then I I tried putting I was John's head. A, I, was I tried putting John's head down, but I was actually trying to get him to suck me off. I was like, <laughs> in, our, in our last moments, I was like, "The last chance, John, to go and suck me off." <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, it was like it was uh, legitimately scary. Let's let's not. I know we've like made jokes about it after we found out it wasn't a gun. If you thought it was a gun, that is scary. It sure. was extremely yeah. terrifying, dude. There was a guy hold, and it had a barrel because it was one of those like lighter things. So it, we don't know what it was. It was a crack torch. No, because they yeah. found a crack. It was a torch giant lighter. crack oh, torch with yeah. a giant barrel thing, yeah. and it looked yeah. just like a gun. And he's holding it, and he has a hood on, like the Zodiac, and he's like this, just pointing it right at my head. That's creepy. Yeah. So I thought we were gonna get. I go shit, John. I just, I just. Immediately, my instinct was like, "That's a guy holding a gun on." Did us. you dive behind John? No, I drove on John. I tried. I told getting, him. I said, "He goes get down. Get down. You're safe." And what then a I, hero. I said, "What a safe. hero, yeah. John is." And then I said, "Just I said, like, go, go, go." And John, John's car is a shitty hybrid, so like, yeah. he barely, like, you know, accelerated. Well, it was scary because I was like, "Dude, one of us is about to get really badly hurt." And then he ran into the street, following yeah. us like this. Yeah, it was really yeah. scary. It was fucking terrifying. <laughs> you guys are like Michael Rappaport in Copland. You yeah. know, we are. <laughs> that was much. That was exactly how it was. It was. It was like I'm not kidding. That it was, was one of the scariest things. One of the scariest yeah. things that ever happened to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I've been chased by a gang member before, but yeah, that was scarier actually because I, th I thought it was a gun. I thought. Yeah, he, I thought. I thought, I thought, I thought I he was thought, just going to shoot me. I, I, I was just waiting for him me. to open fire, and then I was like, "Oh, he's going to hit you first. And then I was like, "I might get shot. And then I got a fear. Yeah. And now in my head, I was like, "Silver Lake Medical Center." It was stupid. Yeah, yeah. Just doing triage. I was doing. I was born identity in it. Really. I was like, hero. I was like, Devin, get down. Silver Lake Medical Center. I'm going sixty. We're it's just gonna lucky be. to know a hero. Yeah, yeah honestly. Like yeah, honestly, yeah. thank God you were there. God bless to you. To push buddy. the pedal Kick to the ass, metal dude. and go 13 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, My life was in danger. Thank Fuck God yeah, you saved the day. 2,000 RPM, baby. Yeah. And then, so then we had to ident we identified the guy later that night. The cops came. We called the cops. They came. They came. <laughs> Devin was in his wife beater. You're all hysterical. I had a wife beater, <laughs> and I was like trying to explain like what gun maybe he had. And I was like, I don't know, it looked like a nine millimeter. No, you said this. it was a Glock. Or the a cops Glock. come. I was like, he had a gun, and then Devin's like, yeah, he had a fucking Glock. <laughs> Devin just heard Glock in the wire. <laughs> Devin played like, Grand Theft Auto. Was a Glock. It was the yeah. first gun you get in Grand Theft Auto. So yeah. I was like, he yeah. had that one. I go, he pressed up, up, you know, Y, <laughs> A, B, start. And he, he had, had a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Three stars a tank. And the cop kept being like doubt. He's like, he was like, well, what does that mean to you? And I was like, that's a fucking gun. I was like, yeah. he's a guy holding a gun on us. And then they put us in the car and we had to go identify. They found the guy and then we had yeah. to identify him that night. And John, they wouldn't let John and I be together because they knew we'd be too much of a. They knew fucking, we'd fuck. They knew we'd be like <laughs> hilarious together. They were like, they, they were like these guys podcasts. Can you guys stop sixty nineing in the back? We're trying to find this murder. <laughs> <laughs> so they took John. John showed up and I walked by John. And I go, I go, what he look like? I go, did you say yes? And John's like, yeah, I said yes. And I was like, that was the guy. All right. Well, this but, is my favorite part of the story, actually. So they, but they, John's like kind of evil. Well, no, because they separated you guys and they each. God, the the homeless guy was across the street. They caught down him the street. Yeah. down the street, and so they were like, "Is that him?" And Devin starts it starts weighing on him. He's like, "What if it's not him? I could be putting an yeah, cuck man mentality. in jail." Cuck mentality. That's the guy. He's going away. Well, because it didn't look like the guy. He didn't have a hood on. 
And he was a white. Yeah, he's he, gonna take it off. And he was white. <laughs> but Chug goes, yeah, that's him. Like yeah, that's fucking him. go. Yeah. If it's not him, he's a homeless scumbag that should be in jail anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. So that's, yeah. yeah. Well, that's here. Here we go. There's the Republican thing. I was. I was <laughs> Rocket. That's all. Wrong I was place, saying. wrong time, Bozo. I had a little more like thought about it, so I had to think. And the cops Gay. were like, "Is that him?" And they're literally the the lights on him, and they're they're holding his head, and they're about to shove him in the back of this like squad car, <laughs> about right? To blow his brains. Yeah, they're about to like. <laughs> is this him? Is this him? They're holding a gun to his head. <laughs> I'm like, why weren't you so thoughtful when you identified the Glock? I'm yeah. not kidding. I'm sitting in the back seat, and I'm like, ah. I was honestly embarrassed when he said Glock. I was like, God damn it. Why? What's it? That's what they have. You know. They have Glocks. Yeah, yeah, but police. That's like the most simple gun to have. That's possible. not a crazy. That's not a crazy thing to say. You yeah, keep acting like that because you think yeah. you're fucking. You know, you think you're fucking no, no, not, Jesse no, no, Ventura no, 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 from yeah. Predator. Yeah, exactly. I am. And you're not. Number one. In no, that you're not. You've never held a gun. He's you're a, a sexual The only gun you use is a potato gun. Right in your fucking mouth, fatso. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You make French fries that with potato guns. Eat my dick. So I'm in the back seat. I'm trying to be. Yeah. A, I'm trying to like be like have some foresight here and trying to like be like like thoughtful. You're trying to ruin the case about for both the situation. Yeah, yeah. You're ruin the case. Yeah. I didn't know if it was technically. They would have let the guy go, and he would have raped a pregnant woman that night because of you. And it's 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 that's what would have happened. Yeah. Otherwise, Otherwise, you're I, a cuck. I, I just keep laughing at the idea of John killing himself like Kurt Cobain with a potato. <laughs> gun. <laughs> just hair spray in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, 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 uh, I was trying to think about a little because I know John's like a sicko. I know John's like a fucking, yeah, be a sicko. John's like moment. a soulless, like you know, like death camp Republican, and he's like, yeah, send him away. And I was like, I was like, who was the guy? The guy had on shorts, and I was like, I wasn't. He had I'd, pants on. He had blue pants on. I didn't remember the guy yeah, having on pants yeah, because like you're too busy ducking away from I the gun. Dude. I was busy him. facing danger and saving. You. I looked at him. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I'm the one that said there's a guy with a gun, asshole. No, like, like, Officers, he's come drunk. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it took me a little bit. They like they were like there, there were two cops in the front of the car looking yeah. back at me like you have to say, and I'm like um I don't know. I just I just felt we wasted I felt all these guys. All time. of a sudden, some weird like liberal feeling came over me, and I was like, yeah. what if it's not the guy? And yeah, I'm I mean, I would have sending... done nothing. I would have just driven home and done nothing. Yeah, 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 that's the. Well, we thought he had a gun and he chased us, and he was literally half a block away. So I was was like, like, "What if he actually shoots somebody?" And we did thought, "Yeah, what if he kills somebody?" Because it was a guy in the stance of murdering somebody, like a serial killer. I said the same thing though, Connor. I was like, "If I like," they're like, "Well, what you uh, would you have done?" And I was like, "Well, I would say, oh, there's a homeless guy with a lighter. I'm just driving home." No, but we. I don't know if I would literally thought it was a guy. Well, I'm safe, so uh, bye bye. Well, I would have yeah. known that it wasn't a guy. Like, oh, homeless guy, homeless guys don't have guns. They can't afford well, them. They'll I, sell them for crap. They do have guns. I care about my neighbor. Not, not, they do have guns. And they have around. guns. They have yeah. guns. No, yeah, there's like crip sex of homeless guys that have guns. But well, no. what do you think? This is John Wick, <laughs> the Lawrence Fishburne there's character. There's homeless guys with guns, dude. There's homeless guys that get found with handguns all the time. No, it's like very rare. Like, you know, Union Station. It's like in RuneScape. It's constantly. like in RuneScape when you, you get like a Rune Rune two hand. I like that. You, you thought I, mean? I would love or like a dragon, a dragon, a yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. um. Uh, what are those? It's pirate rare, but, ones. but guns do get abandoned. It. To the it was Union just like in RuneScape. No, it's like a rare item. It was a rare, row, yeah, it was a gun a, is a very, very rare yeah, item. He was like a level a month, 60 homeless but guy. He wasn't, yeah, but ahead. he wasn't in Skid Row. He was on my street. Any homeless guy, a, a gun is a rare item for any homeless guy. Okay, but you would have done the same thing. Dude. No, I don't think it so. It literally looked like a guy I would have rolled my window. Get the fuck out of the road, you homeless bum. Put that lighter away. Look, personally, <laughs> I would have gotten out. I would have squared up with the man. Yeah. <laughs> well, would beat his ass. I'm a big, we're big pussies, and so anyway, I ultimately, I John's was like, a hero. I'm a hero. So You're kind of a pussy. I said, "Yeah, it's him." Eventually, and then they shoved his head into the car, and they started like beating the shit out <laughs> of him. Which pissed me off because I didn't see him get taken away. That pissed me off. What race? I saw White. him taken away. White. Guy. White. Yeah. White. We Name. thought he was Latino. Name God. Name was God. His name was Brad. And yeah, you know what's fucked up? Saying, he, kept, he kept saying he was God. We both got subpoenaed, and neither of us showed up for court. Yeah. <laughs> It was all for nothing. Neither Last of funny show. thing. And the detective was begging for us to show the up to court. He's no, like, please, the like, nothing will happen. Me. I had like a 30-minute combo with him. I'm like, yeah, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, You're like I don't know, was, I was drunk. What he do you was, want? He was like, please, like, just show up. And I'm like, yeah, listen, buddy. Like, I'm hammered. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I would, but I got a podcast. The last best part of this is that John 
Oh, Classic yeah, John yeah, yeah, tried yeah. to become best friends with the detective. Oh, yeah, 100. The detective as as usual. Oh, the John's like, dude, the breakfast John, John oh, literally dude. kept talking. He's like, dude, t- t- Detective Fukushima, dude? I, that oh, guy's yeah. fucking sick, dude. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love that guy, dude. I knew I knew the, the stance he was in. It's called the Weaver stance. And he used that with the cough. And he was like, oh, I'm impressed you know that. And I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm, I'm yeah, in the corner. I'm like, me, dude. I was like, oh, I just can't. I'm in the corner. I'm like, yeah, what about Glocks? Yeah. <laughs> I knew what a Glock was. It was embarrassing. Like, me. shut the fuck up, you little otter. Uh, yeah. Like, shut up. Uh, anyway. I got to pee again. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening, folks. This has been the uh, Hey Watch Podcast. Uh, Connor on Instagram at 420 Naughty Boy. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think Connor will be on pretty much every episode that he can be on uh, when he's not doing a stand-up show. And when he does, we will promote them. And please go check them mm. out because we have fans. We can promote them. And if I have a stand-up show. If I have a stand show, I'll cancel. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah, go. brother. There we go. So, new member of the podcast. I love Sweet Connor. Yes, yes. I love Sweet Connor. Joey R. LaFleur on Instagram. Shout John out. Badman shout on Instagram. Out. Mm-hmm. Shout out Maddie Rat. Go ahead. JP Ryder Morgan. Oh, JP Ryder Morgan. JP Ryder Morgan. Oh, uh, uh, Bent P. Bent P. Shout cool. out Bent P. Shout out Yarmels. Yarmels. Shout out um, uh, uh, Gabe Redmond. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Wonderful Delta people. Force of Haywood. Uh, Gabe Redmond is uh, forcing, a, he's forcing a trout to fuck a salmon right now, right? <laughs> Uh, God bless you all. Thank you. Good night. We will be back next week. I love you. Goodbye.